Opie is here, and his show starts now. Oh, yeah, there you go. Back in the saddle again. What's going on, everybody? Hi, Rich Voss. How What's are you? On? Great. Thank you for this having me. This is 2017. Me. Let's have right. some energy. Yes, I, I'm just looking at you. You look like a Confederate soldier. Now oh, you were waiting. Beard. You were waiting no. an hour to say that. No, but you do. I, I'm trying to think. What does he look like? But I like it. It looks good. Yeah. It looks good if you lived in the South. Yeah. Uh, you Even know. like remember the Alamo face. <laughs> yours is pretty long. Time. I don't know, but yours is long no. and red. You, you like look, you got killed in the you Alamo. Look like you should be selling cigarettes in Staten Island. Uh, <laughs> I got the hiccups already. <laughs> uh, you guys have been making me laugh for the last hour. We should have, we should have started an hour ago. Who cares about Aerosmith and back in the saddle again? We had some doozies. Uh, fucking oh, I got hiccups. How do you get rid of hiccups? Uh, hold your breath. And then why is this cup holder hold, here? Hold your breath. For a week. Ah, I, uh, that means I wouldn't be here. I fucking hosted a show that Steven Tyler did last year. Yeah. The fucking guy, he's, what is he, a hundred? He has he's, more energy. It yeah. was unbelievable how he fucking killed out did, there. Did he, say, narcotics. did he say Steven Toddler? Tyler. I said Tyler. Oh, it sounded like Steven Toddler. <laughs> I said Tyler. Yeah, he's got a lot of energy, that it's man. Fucking, he was so fucking good watching him up there. He also looks like a grandma now, too. Yeah, old white dudes turn into lesbians when uh, they get old. Oh, don't yeah. That. They got lesbian faces, all of them. Don't and and then yeah. the white women become dudes. Yeah, what the fuck is that about? It's weird. Weird. <laughs> I can't wait till my wife becomes a dude. Awkward. Oh, I know. Awkward. What'd you do and for New Year's off. though? What'd you do? I, uh, you know, I got two small kids, so but right. we, but we stayed up, and I, I was telling you off air that I, uh, I told my wife I gotta I gotta tune in Fox to see if they got Sherrod on the street. Right. That's right. And I didn't see Sherrod on the street. Yeah, I did live stand up this year. Smart. Oh, really? Yeah, I went to the stand and did a couple shows in the stand. Ron hosted, who was great. Ron Bennington. Yes. He's Artie Lang came through. It was a fucking. It was. We had great shows over there. That sounds That's like great. a good time. But I, I getting back to Fox, so I had. A sit through that horse shit for a half hour. It's going to be they, awful without me. They fucking stink on New Year's. They stink on New Year's. That's why I warned them. I warned them before they made their plans for this year. I said, listen, y'all taking too long to make a decision. Right. Y'all need to do this. If you don't do it, you're going to fuck up. Yeah. We well, brought the energy. To, they didn't me go into Times Square? They didn't go into Times Square? I, I'm they, not sure. I didn't watch yeah, what they, they did. Yeah, they had a little time. They had a little piece of the Times Square. They all have a little piece of the Times Square. Yeah, but, they, they didn't bring in Joanne Nosenchinsky and me and uh, dude, and I, what's the name? Um, uh, I don't, I don't know. Who, I don't know the, I don't know the faces over there. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie McGirt. Oh, Bernie. No, no, they didn't have Bernie. I uh, know. Last year, the last two years, they had me, Bernie, Joanne, and we had a fucking good okay, team yeah, over there. Yeah. I mean, Bernie would have been great to look at or watch, or whatever. You would have been great to look at and watch. I think Trump broke their heart this year. For real? So they, they, uh, they just got international dum dums to do it. But wouldn't you think Fox, even though it's Trump, is still behind? Because he's Republican and it's a con you, you know think? you would think that look hey look, we still still got to st stand with our party I mean so many people uh, that shit are is up out in the there. air over there look What's at Ke Me Megan Kelly's leaving now you see Megan Kelly's leaving for NBC well, she probably got a better today. offer That's huge all. what do you mean probably oh, do you watch do you watch the news before no you I was driving here? I just heard it but no I don't Megan Kelly don't. leaving Fox News for NBC News they I got know, a Sunday NBC. nights or something she got a Sunday she got a five day a week I think and a Sunday night show by itself but where's the five day a week on NBC or MSNBC. I think it's NBC. Uh, really? A, a, a daily talk I'm, show on NBC? Where's, I'm not sure yet. It might be like 10 a.m. or some shit. I don't know how they're going to do it. Right. But it, I they mean, might be it... shuffling uh, Hoda and uh, Kathy Lee. Oh, I don't know. fuck the Hoda. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's she, a new it's... year with new problems. <laughs> fuck the Hoda. I love Hoda. Oh, uh, Hoda and here. Kathy Lee. Give, who gives a fuck? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> I don't care if she's a fellow employee. <laughs> when did that ever stop me before? Oh, those good people. She's living under She's a bore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Her I... and Kathy Lee Gifford, if they didn't uh, drink red wine on TV, no one would watch. That's why I watch them, because I like old biddies getting drunk. You like everybody. Yeah, you're right. You know, it's a, it's a better way to live, like you. Yeah. You just have, you don't have problems with anyone. I got problems with too many people. You love, you always find yourself in beef. Yeah. <laughs> you always got beef, nigga. I know. <laughs> it makes you feel alive. <laughs> I feel alive. Oh, you know what the shit. problem with beef is? When I was active, 
with doing drugs. You're right. Yeah. I had beef, not beef. I had I owed everybody money. Right. And having beef, beef, it's just like walking, looking over your shoulder every fucking minute of the day. It's exhausting. Who the fuck is gonna fuck me up now? <laughs> oh, I owed shit. a lot of money back in the day. Right. Really? That's, and that was drug beef. You know, drug. Right. I had my mother's car got torched. I owed these dudes money. They wow. Lit, they, what? They lit my mother's car on fire. Wins and jerseys. Yeah, and, yeah. And how did you explain that to your mom, or, did, uh, or she just knew? He said I, the blacks. I said no, <laughs> no. Damn First of all, I would never again. say that. Back then, you say colored. <laughs> uh, and here's the other thing. I said to the dude, I go now. Now you're not only not getting your money, we're getting a new car from the insurance. Yeah, right. You know, but the detectives came and said I had to, you know, explain. I. I I had try to had to work my way around the fact that I owe drug money. I, right. I don't know, you know what I mean? I couldn't rat you on play the dumb. I couldn't rat on the dude, yeah. you know, because then I'm ratting on myself too. So uh, that's an easy thing to do, isn't it? You just what? you just tell the detectives, I don't know what the fuck happened here. Yeah, but they you think they don't they fucking know. know? They don't know that you're fucking, you know, every night they see you doing laps walking around the block to walk off the crack yes. and and they And you're in your short shorts? <laughs> no. But I'm just saying people, I'm, just getting, your, I'm just getting to your I'm just getting to your you're a little low on funds. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't know who taught your son, you taught your car. Son. Look at your son in the corner scratching himself. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like, one I'm ball hanging having, out the bottom of his shorts. <laughs> <What's that>? Shit. <laughs> Don't let those old stories. Don't let those old stories. Uh, uh, I love you. I didn't know you were going to be 60 in a few months. Who I'd, said that? Uh, Judy Gold on one of my fucking behind the scenes videos. Oh, she blew a spot up? Yeah, it's already out there. What? Look how angry you are. Are you really going to be 60? In June. Man, you look good. You Thank look you. great. Thank you. We're you gonna look probably, fucking good. I, I, I wish I could hammer you, but you look good. Thanks. I think we're going to, yeah, but you're not an MRI. I think, uh, <laughs> you, know, it's, you, know, you don't see the real like, problems going I, on. I've on seen a lot of beautiful cars until they start. Uh, <laughs> pop, like, the, pop the hood what, on that motherfucker. Do they do a New Year's Eve show in here? Because my mic smells like champagne fucking puke. <laughs> Can we get some Lysol? Yeah, you keep smelling it. Oh, Stop God, smelling the, smell no, it. I'm not smelling that. No. I'd rather smell Rich's ear. <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> Why do we do that as human beings, though? If, if milk is bad, you just want somebody to smell it. You go, oh my god, smell this! Ugh. Yeah, give me a spray. Oh, look at that! Did you ever think? Like, going, get rid of this fucking cup holder. Hey, I'm Paul, not dealing with this. Paul, shit. you ever think when you went to college that someday you get to spray a fucking radio host mic? That's what it all comes down. How to? How about you say legend in there somewhere? <laughs> huh? How about you say legend in there? He didn't spray my mic. <laughs> <laughs> so can we get back to Fox? Yes, they still so without me in New Year's. They fucking sucked so bad. I warned and them. And they all sucked across the board. I warned them all. I made phone calls and said, listen, you're making a mistake. Right. You need us out there. Dude, if I was running... Get it together. If I was running Fox, I would just go, you know, Sherrod, it's your it's your show. That's what I... Hire listen. a couple guys and just fuck around for... I mean... You even other on-air people said that. You couldn't even... You couldn't do worse. You got Don Lemon basically uh, talking about sucking dick on CNN. I, I, uh, if you were fucking running Fox... <laughs> What? <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be less sexual of I assault. Would it would the be the first network canceled that? in the middle of the oh, night. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Shut up, stupid. Yeah. If, if I were running Fox, oh, yeah. just be happy you're fucking running that corner. Shut up. <laughs> if I were so running Fox. That's what I'm down to, running this fucking corner. <laughs> he said Fox will go from 24-hour news station to 3 to 6 every day. Yeah. No. Mm. Thank Look, you. Nobody. Come on. Right, no, come right, on. Right. Right. to deal with these networks? They don't want to pay any fucking right. money. They don't want to pay no, any money. You, no. Let me let me take this. All okay. right. Because uh, New Year's That's Eve, it. they just fuck around on every other channel. Don Lemon and that Brooke Baldwin. Yeah, Brooke can still get it though. I can't. Brooke, you know, is, Brooke, Brooke is, uh, is mediocre at best. Don come Lemon, on, Brooke's friend. Don so. Lemon was entertaining because he was like, "Fuck this! I'm just going to get really drunk." And he hinted he wanted to get his nipples pierced on on TV he did. on CNN. No, he got his ear oh, his yeah. ear pierced, and they made that like it was a huge fucking Whoa. deal for yeah. a forty year old man to get his fucking ears pierced. I know. Thanks, dude. They, they had a they had a, a piercer there. And and then uh, they go to Lemon. What do you want to get pierced? And he starts fucking. Long ready to, he was ready to take his shirt down. And then Brooke Baldwin goes, "I love you, Don. Don't do it." Because she knew that would have been his job, even oh, though it's New out. Year's and they're drinking tequila. Well, but they, he was way more entertaining than Fox. Did they pull the I, plug? I don't like. I don't like Don Lemon. Did Fox they pull the plug on him anyhow? Did they pull the plug on him? No, they yeah. let, they let him get really drunk on CNN, and they they don't give a fuck. Well, they got they, Kathy Griffin and Dum Dum running around. So I mean, Don Lemon is really mild this, compared to her. And Mr. Giggle. 
who uh, uh, Ken, uh, Anderson his, Cooper. His whole job is to just giggle while she says that stuff. She she has to work hard. Oh, Kathy. I know they've been at it for like ten years, doing New Year's together, but she's fucking working hard, and he just sits there and giggles. Yeah, but that's pretty much the life. <laughs> like a little fucking girl. <laughs> What? You're just a me. <laughs> what, what do you I like? I from you, okay? <laughs> what do you like? Well, I mean, we're talking about New Year's. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, yeah. Get, I didn't even get to the worst one. Ryan Seacrest's oh. fucking stinks. The, the, the clock rocking Eve. He even made, he, he even made over the break, uh, being stuck in an elevator boring. Uh, how, yeah. how, how can you, can't even pump that up. <laughs> he stinks. But he's in, though. We can't I'm get that motherfucker out. With Ryan Seacrest. I think I'm obsessed because of the the Rock and Eve, whatever the fuck. Yeah. So he was all over the place leading up to that. Yeah. He is fucking boring. Here's the deal, Eric. You like Ryan Seacrest? No, no. can't. Huh? No, he's just he's clean and safe. That's why everyone hires him. But he's yeah. so boring that I mean, they they pay him a shitload of money to be clean and safe. That's the middle shit. of the road. It's like that's when you got on auditions now for hosting positions. They say Ryan Seacrest types. No, yes, they want more Ryan. They, they want more there. dull nothings just yeah, to be there. They don't want a personality. They yep. don't want entertainment. They just want somebody who. Yeah, that's uh, not going to. But him. how do you make? New Year's in Times Square, boring like he does. It's amazing. Because he was talking so about many... the weather. He's like, he... oh. <laughs> because there's so That's many so... sponsors. He was talking about the weather and he goes, yeah. you know, the coldest New Year's in Times Square. And he's, he's just giving out weather stats. Yeah, I'd like to hear that. No, you <laughs> wouldn't. You will be 60 in a well, week. Well, the problem, here's the deal. You need more. C comics during anything can do an audible. Comics yes. can fucking, whatever Make happens, out of the box, can right? handle whatever the fuck comes your Preach. way. Yeah. Preach. I'm serious. Because we've had it all. Right. Yep. Years. I mean, fights, fucking, uh, Mike's going out doing shows without yep. the mic, right. doing whatever the fuck happens. A comic, a good comic can do an audible. Yeah, I agree. These motherfuckers are all scripted. They have no clue. Of, I'm not saying it rhymes. I'm just saying most. Say it. No, because I, I didn't watch any say of it. Say it. He's I, never going to hire you. What I just know. It? I just know from. He I just, I just know from seeing all the shit on the internet, none of them know how to fucking handle any distraction. Yeah. Uh, and I guess they don't want distractions because the Mariah Carey thing was the best thing going. Yeah, what is he? Do saying? you even know what happened with Mariah Carey? Yeah, her, Love her it. fucking sound. It was the best thing yeah. going. It was great. All of a sudden, my uh, my wife got a text from one of her friends, like, "Oh my god, Mariah Carey!" So we t we 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 tuned in slightly late, but we were laughing our asses off. It was great. I it love was, seeing that thick ass red bone right. <laughs> fumble over some shit. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> and I don't know. Now they're fighting with Dick Clark Productions, and they set him up, uh, set her up, uh, and then uh, kill her. Words piece. escalates between Mariah Carey and production team. Well. He, this because uh, basically she's saying that her earpiece wasn't working, but then they're saying no. She even had a backup earpiece. She's full of shit. I'm sure she is. I, I just loved her just stumbling and mumbling <laughs> was... and fucking saying pretty much fuck it in front of the world. In front of the world. You loved it, right? Loved. I mean, it made the biggest news that night. That's way better than her, you know, lip syncing one of her dumb songs. So saying that. Or singing over some, you know, uh, some track. Yeah. The story of them, uh, Dick Clark Productions fucking her up is. A better story. Yeah, I don't know if it's true or not, but it opens her up to a lawsuit now. Yeah, yeah but why would they fuck yeah, her? But what kind I mean, of why lawsuit? Would they, any, defamation. But yeah, you don't want to be a production company that has any accusation of uh, purposely fucking with right. talent, right? Uh, for a performance because nobody would want to work with them. Again. But as soon as I heard lawsuit, I went and checked out how much she's worth. She's worth over five hundred million dollars. So I'm like, all right, she can handle a lawsuit. Oh, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. But she'll I, be all right. I heard this on another radio show, so this isn't me. But they still read aired it on the West Coast, right? They didn't yeah. edit no. her meltdown yeah, cause out. Because they, they, they know. That's the story yes. now. That's the story. And if it's the number one trend on Twitter, yeah. why would you edit that out? They didn't re-air it. It was live on the West Coast. Oh, yeah, it was re Because was they live. have all those pre-recorded stuff from Los Angeles for Dick Clark after midnight, which airs on right the West after, Coast. Right after, right. Wait, so what do they do in L.A. at midnight? Uh, nothing. Uh, or they have some kind of local thing where Fergie's in L.A. and they do another countdown at 3 a.m. That's weird. So weird. But at not so at nine o'clock they're playing in New York and this yeah. whole thing live in L.A. at Beautiful. Yep. The Beautiful. Because it's a it, they're, uh, oh. it's network. Right. So it's not like you know an affiliate thing. It's oh, on yeah. the major network. So right. it's live in Los Angeles. Gotcha. Oh. So they got to see it a lot earlier than us. 
No, they watched well, they it at the same, same time, time but, but it was not. early on in class no, at the same time. No, I mean earlier for them. It's right. nine o'clock for them. Right. Yeah. But it aired at the same time. Yeah. Right. No, I, I get it. It was so it was live in L.A. But what I meant, right, uh, right. whatever. So yeah. they still have three hours for something else to happen. Yes. But I loved it. I loved it. She melted down. And ABC should have loved it. And all those dumb dancers. Did you watch a show yet on um, Bravo? I just started watching it. Is your wife watching it? <laughs> yeah, but you know what, though? I watched it. I'm in. I was, I'm in, I'm too. Not, I'm not going to. Yes, she was watching. I'm like, what is this horse shit? I was, and then I was watching. Going, uh, this is Mariah World. She, <laughs> she she sits around in a negligee, and that's her, like, uh, talking to the camera segment. Yeah, I was just telling them all the her promos con- that you Confessional see or whatever. It's just she's in some kind of negligee and yeah. nails with a drink in her hand yeah. while she's on a couch either talking to the camera or people are addressing her. Yeah. yeah. Like she does, like a Cleopatra. <laughs> I, I am in. Did so you, good. And she's chasing that uh, young Japanese boy. I didn't see that yet. Yeah, so apparently she got a crush on one of the Japanese dancers. I didn't see that. Oh, I, yeah, saw I, heard the, that. I saw the drama with the assistant. The blonde assistant. There's drama. Oh, the girl crying? Yeah, she's crying. She's right there. Look on the screen. <laughs> yeah, wait, she's, what she's, are you that's wearing? All the cutaways. She's it's like he's so Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> she's like, so Zsa Zsa. She's like 47-ish, I would guess. She's like every girl I went to high school with. But still, that girl. Yeah, she's a little chunky though. Oh, she, she you like a chunk, out. right? I like it. I liked her more when she wasn't like that, but I like her now because she's got to deal with it. Yeah, she I, seems like her and Nick Hannah were not the right match. It doesn't seem like he seems so much younger and di- like. You but know his sperm I mean? worked. I What's think that? she needed that sperm. Uh, yeah. She wanted them babies from him, and he's worth twenty million. Yeah, a little drop off there. Yeah, he, he's the black man's uh fucking Ryan Seacrest. So she probably uh, he probably made out in that divorce, right? Yeah, he did all right. Yeah. He didn't get money. I don't or, think. But no, it's all pre-nups. no. Those are all prenups. Yeah, but there's some action in there. I'm thinking. I mean, he's still working and made him. She's got that uh, Geffen Tommy Matola money that she has to protect. Yeah, um, but when the the dancers have to lift her up, I felt bad for the dancers. Oh, cool. <laughs> little, little chunky. Like eight of them. A little chunky. There was only two, and I'm like, oh man. You gotta look. And they gotta pretend like it's not straining. You gotta look in the mirror before you decide that you're gonna have your your tiny fucking dancers (laughs) lift you up on a stage. Oh my god! Here we go. Look at this. Thick man. That's the that's the Japanese dude right there. Which one? Oh, the one on the right. Yeah. Okay. Wait, who did she not get she along with? She looks solid as a Who did she not get along with on American Idol? Who? Jennifer Lopez. No, no. uh, Honey, Nicki Minaj had beef with Mariah Carey. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. they had some uh, some uh, situations. And her mic was live when uh, she goes to her dancers, you know, carry me down the stairs. I don't think we were supposed to hear that either. <laughs> Look at that booty. You don't like that booty? That's either? way too fucking chunky for me. Look at, Look that. at that. That's too much, right, Rich? Oh, <laughs> good. I'll kidding? knock Finally, down. Finally, someone that agrees with me with, uh, uh, with the butt Shh, thing. I'll knock down that Humvee. <laughs> That's big, oh, bro. Come not, on. Are you kidding me? Shit. There's that so much big. sweat. Come there's on. so much sweat happening that looks like, there. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Sweat during sex. <laughs> no. Such an old man. <laughs> Thank you. My sheets are wet. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> stop. You, I don't care. I put a towel down. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Stop being romantic. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a problem here. There's a wet spot on the yeah. bed. No, Let me throw this circus tarp down yeah. before we fuck. No, it doesn't happen on the she, bed. She's got a horse's ass. <laughs> yeah. I like that thoroughbred ass, ah, son. Fuck no. no. I'll bury my whole. Yeah. Get that the hell out of here. Oh, Too that, intimidating in the end. But her booty, she, she don't carry it as well as a Nicki Minaj, if you will, or somebody who got, like, Jennifer Lopez. She carries the booty better. Right. Yeah, but uh, J-Lo has a big ass, but it's more shapely. It's more shapely. Mariah's is, is coming up on her back. That's like, see. her ass is like taking a big thing of mashed potatoes and just going... <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick my dick in some mashed potatoes. This is this is. You know I had the gravy, goddammit. I see this as uh, negative female talk, and I'm not about that now. Uh, I'm not. I'm. Not, you know what I mean? Uh, nah, I look at I look at a lady for what she is. That's why I threw out all my Steve Martin albums. That you uh, like? I'm a, I'm Team uh, Mariah Carey on this one though. On that one, she, yeah, you like? No, I mean That's still thick. on her performance. Oh yes, yeah, I'm Team Mariah. Who cares? You gave us a show instead of looking at that Ryan Seacrest. I'm Some, obsessed with hating him now. <laughs> Some people said it was the best way to end 2016. Yes. That performance. Yeah. It summed up the whole year. 
And at least we don't have to deal with any more celebrities dying for a while. Oh, they're still going to die. It's going to be a new year. Holy <laughs> fuck was 2016 bad. It grabbed all the loose ones. I have a- <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And, then, and, and uh, what's her name? Carrie Fisher's mom there, Debbie Reynolds. Oh, How selfish is she? She just was like, I'm out too. She's out too. She has other kids still alive. Not okay. as important as Carrie, apparently. No shit. I, I say that's selfish. That's my <laughs> angle on this. Because they're trying to romanticize like... Like she couldn't live without Carrie Fisher. Like, like that's the only child. I'm like, fuck this broad. She had other kids. How many kids did she have? At least uh, uh, we heard from the son and then uh, some other. Uh, oh, maybe the other one is a grandkid. How many? Uh, Todd Fisher. Thank you. She had two children. Sorry. So she still had one that was uh, alive. Yeah. But she couldn't go on without Carrie. How about going on for your son, Todd? Todd's a nobody. How about nobody. we take that angle, fucking mainstream media, instead of trying to romanticize the whole thing? What's Todd's uh, Hollywood credits? Let's see if she should have stuck around for him. Well, I, 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 <laughs> might be a bit of a drop-off between... <laughs> his opening credit is Boba Fett. Son. Did they, they think of play Boba Fett? <laughs> let's, his let's his take opening a credit is Carrie's brother. <laughs> let's take a look at this. <laughs> I think there's a bit of a drop off. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do you got on on his career? Ah, uh, he's got some stuff. Okay. Uh oh, a visit with Debbie Reynolds. That don't count. Uh, 1959 when he was a baby. So they did some kind of news thing, and then and, and he was there as a baby. Everything is Debbie Reynolds. Uh, yeah, no. Hollywood without makeup documentary. No. No. <laughs> uh, these are the ones in the bold print, so these are the big ones. Still, his, his mother was right to leave him. <laughs> the big ones are these old broads, a TV movie. He Loved played it. Timothy. Loved it. Uh, Hollywood without makeup, a documentary. <laughs> And then 2012, he was in something called Hollywood Treasure. <laughs> wow, is this fucking guy a zero? I have, since since I uh, I have better credits. Jesus, <laughs> how are you, Debbie Reynolds' kid? And I have better credits than you. What happened? Well, I, I oh, need your opinion man. on Debbie. Huh? My friend. Well, not a friend, uh, yeah, a friend, a comic, yeah, who I used to, you know, hang out with, before, you know, year when I first started, passed away uh, over the weekend, uh, I think. So anyhow, or Monday or Tuesday. Which guy? Who? He, you know, this guy, Dennis Ross. Okay. And, and I mean, we did so many one nighters together. You know, right. when I started Dennis out with him, Ross. and he was he used to book. So he passed away, and I think I think his funeral is tomorrow or his memorial, whatever. Yeah. But I here's the deal. I haven't seen him in twenty years. Oh, I, I already know. Don't no, but, go. Wait, but tomorrow's don't gonna, go. it's going to be fifty two degrees tomorrow. Of course. What do I do? Do I go? You celebrate life and you go and play golf. <laughs> <laughs> here's the deal. What do I? The guy because, said he's not even going to know if you were there or not. Yeah, don't miss your golf. The fucking tea time. No, uh, he won't know. He won't yeah, know. But you feel so, so selfish because if, if I died, I want to. I want to hit bonus at my funeral. I want. <laughs> I got to do bit, bigger numbers and. Trees. Do you want well, you know, <laughs> wow, that's gonna be tough. I know. Yeah, he did big numbers. No, I will. I'll do that good shirt. numbers. Who's I'm doing your eulogy? He had Kevin Hart. Who's doing yours? Who's Opie? Go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, had, I was gonna go. Go ahead. He had he had people spilling out onto the sidewalk. Yes, yeah. we all were there. I Holy know. I, I please. I know. I closed. Uh, <laughs> I closed. I know. You could do a drive through. It's all like down like, South like Jersey. Drive-by. It's South right, Jersey. Find a golf course that's close to the the funeral home. Oh yeah, that's what I would do. <laughs> oh, good idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to play golf in a fucking suit. <laughs> well, I don't want to go to a funeral in knickers. <laughs> Dude, you, you have said a golf what outfit under the suit. <laughs> you, Thank you. You're a rookie. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't deal He's with funerals. <laughs> and there's another memorial in New York for another comic who passed away. Oh. To, uh, she, uh, she was great, Adrian Tolsh, but she passed away a couple weeks, you know, Years like three, three weeks ago. Oh, three weeks or ago. Or two weeks ago. Wow. And, you know... That, you know, it's just horrible when, you know, I mean, you're old. Celebrate life. Go play golf. Is that what you're saying? Send for flowers, real? though. Send, Send flowers. Send to who? And celebrate to the family, life. to their funeral home, to the wherever right. the funeral is. I, I'm not a big I talk about I it, it in my stage because when you send flowers, the message you're really given is here's something else that's going to die in your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I send patio furniture. Uh, you know what they do? What? Floors are rough. They, they, they up the price? Well, that, and then when the wake's over, everyone leaves, and the family the family takes what they can, 
And then I watched one of our, one of our uh, you know, in our family. I watched the floors fucking come back and get it. Everything get back the into the van. There. Are you serious? Yes. I would do the same thing. Why they wouldn't gotta, you do that? I think they got to deal with the funeral homes. Like you come back, yeah. Well, you give me a little taste, and I'll uh, and you take your flowers back. And the, oh yeah, man, they're they're regifting that shit. They got flowers with strings on them. As soon as they got bodies out, they <laughs> pull them back right. in the van. So that's why. That's why you got to send. What do you think with the flowers? You think they put them in the dumpster? They tell the no. family you can take what you want. Some families right. get smart and they take all of them and then they go to nursing homes and stuff. That's right. the thing to do. Oh, that's a nice but the thing. ones that just say, you know, we took what we can. Yeah, the florist comes back and grabs that shit and then and then goes through it and sees what they could reuse. I'm not saying every florist, but I know this is a thing. I yeah, saw one funeral home. They took the programs and then switched the pictures on the front. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one. I saw. I saw one where they they turned. My grandmother ain't go to USC. <laughs> That's funny because I saw one where they just turned the coffin around and opened the other half, and it was another body in there. <laughs> I saw, <laughs> they they doubling down. They put two midgets. <laughs> and they turned it around. They turned it around. <laughs> Whose feet are these? <laughs> Rich, so what? you've you've known the guy twenty years. Well, I haven't seen him in twenty oh, years. No, then you definitely yeah. celebrate life. I mean, it's, if it's someone a lot closer to you, you're yeah, seeing, see, yeah. seeing a lot. But you, he you was absolutely got to go. I, I want to make that perfectly clear today. But the, if it's someone you haven't talked to in twenty years, but he was in the beginning of my career. We used to do gigs and everything together. We were, you know what I mean. In the I would love if Rich went and then the guy in the coffin is set up when he walked in and said, "What the fuck are you doing here?" Yeah, you know. And I told my wife, uh, "Well, whatever." We're all, we were going. Yeah, we're no, done. no. I just don't want to, you know, go and steal all the thunder because, you know, I'll probably be the biggest act there, you know. (laughs) Yeah, that's what you're wondering, too. Who's going to be there? No, it's... It's not that. I could be it's the just headliner like, at this guy's wake. <laughs> I know. I, I, was, know I, I know how you think. He is thinking that. I know how you think. Holy shit, you're right. <laughs> no. You son of a bitch. You want to know who else is going first. And, uh, and do, I like, wear new, I'm the do I wear my new Tims or Jordans? <laughs> oh, shit. It's not a black dude's funeral. No, so. it's like, <laughs> have, I, have I said Ryan, penny loafers. Have I said Ryan Seacrest uh, sucks in the last 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy. Does he ever come in his building? I don't know. He has to. He I, has a channel. No. If he if he walked through this building, you wouldn't even know it. Yeah, he's a bore. I mean, how, how much does that bore he make? Have a channel here. I don't million. know. I like. You him. don't have a channel here? No. I, I thought like he him. did. No, he's uh, tied in with the uh, Clear I Channel. Know. Oh, you know who I'm thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking Andy Cohen. He's, he's an iHeart yeah. guy. I mix all those dudes together. Yeah. I like Ryan. Wait, Seacrest. is like he him. really an iHeart guy? Yep, him and. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> him I that. love Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> I, see, that's why I wasn't on board. <laughs> I, this son of a oh, bitch. <laughs> fuck! I didn't know he was iHeart Radio. Oh, you kidding me? He has a great production company. Everything about him. He's a fuck up everything <laughs> so you having second thoughts on ryan now <laughs> ah shit ah oh, shit what you it was ryan o'neill you were talking about ryan o'neill fuck him what he did to his daughter <laughs> but <laughs> kathy griffin she is all right <laughs> cooper was all right see this is the best i could do welcome to opie backtrack uh, she, he moonwalk, right. never thought moonwalk like this one. <laughs> Brooke Baldwin. I love her. Stop. Mm. That's my little thing now. Mm. Me and Brooke, come on now. Come on now. Brooke right downtown, too. All right. She needs a fondle so bad up in the big city by herself. She's an Atlanta girl. She's probably getting some fondles in now. She ain't getting what she needs. I'll tell you that right now. How do you know that? Because I talked to her. You still talk to her? Yeah, I still talk Let's to her. Let's get her on the show right now. Who she was trying to avoid me. Who's Brooke Baldwin? And I saw on Thanksgiving when I did the CNN thing for the morning on the morning uh, fucking broadcast. Mm. She was looking good. Me and Paul Mercurio went over there. Oh, boy. But I'd be, I, I, I'm too, like, you know, I'm too heavy handed when I go over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Brooke. Is yeah. That her? You don't know Brooke Baldwin? You don't watch news, huh? No, fuck. She's Brooke Fine is, I don't know what, and smart so as shit. I'll, well, here's the news. What's on every day? What did Trump tweet today? That's all the news is now. Oh, man. His New Year's, uh, his New Year's <laughs> Eve tweet was brutal. About what? Oh, man. What? <laughs> About his enemies, <laughs> I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. I, I, I read, I read on online. I don't know if it's true because who knows. But he kicked the uh, fucking Koch brothers off his golf course in West Palm. I don't believe that. Did story. you read that? Yeah. You, did you read that story? It's a true story. The That's guy was all over the. It, it was his biographer. And, oh. but he was with the, the Cox right. brothers. His and brother, Trump yeah. is like, holy fuck, the biographer's here who trashed me. And he basically oh, yeah. told him to beat it off his, co- off his course. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Did he call out the hounds? 
Yeah. See? Those guys are supposed to like go to Mr. funerals, Burns. too. Yeah, he burns them. <laughs> <laughs> Release the hounds. <laughs> Fucking great. Uh, what do we got? I We're, love having a rich uh, dude president. I love it. Uh, yeah, where's the Trump tweet about, uh, is that, here you go. Happy New Year to all, including to my many enemies and those who have fought me and lost so badly they just don't know what to do. Love. <laughs> I'm getting nervous about this guy. I can't, it's a drop the mic moment. I can't front anymore. I'm, Why, getting, nervous. I'm getting nervous with this fucking Embrace guy. Embrace it, Ob. He's our president I'm now. I'm trying, bro. We got to accept it. He's an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> he's an asshole. <laughs> we didn't have an asshole president in so long. He's an asshole. Oh, what a dickwad. I love it. I want to high five this motherfucker. Getting a little Air nervous. Bear. Getting a little nervous with the Trumpster. <laughs> <laughs> getting a little nervous. Oh, uh, the flights to Russia. Cheap as shit right now. Yeah. Him yeah, and, him, friends. him and Putin. What's wrong? with us being friends with Russia. What's the matter with that? I don't know. Why are everybody so against it? I don't know. It seems like they're hacking our utilities and, the, and whatnot, right? But whenever somebody tell me I can't be friends with somebody, that's when we be friends with them. Oh, yeah, I get that. We all understand that. That's how I roll. Way of uh, thinking. I mean, do you think Putin has uh, the United States' best interest? No. he got Putin's best interest. But, you know... I think they uh, they understand each other, these two. Uh, but here's the thing with Putin. Putin's strength in his country comes from... Yeah. Being adverse, like at uh, at odds with America, right? That's all the power he gets, right? So now, if we not at odds with him, if we in a bed with him, so so to speak, with right. Trump, where's he's going to lose power? Trump, I think Trump becoming president is the worst thing to happen to Putin's power in Russia. So why is Putin all? Uh, because uh, I, don't think he, I don't think he sees it. I think I don't think yes. he sees it. I don't think he sees it. So it's going to backfire on him. Let's see how it plays out. I'm, I'm eating popcorn watching, motherfucker. <laughs> but I ain't turning away from the screen. And then Trump's telling China to take care of North Korea. They but, should. But China already takes care of North Korea. No, China could shut down North Korea, all the nonsense. Uh, and and they, and they ma- don't. I mean, could they make those calls, though, and say, fucking relax a little bit, or we're we going to shut you down? But they can, that shit's been going on forever. They can march up in there. Yeah, they could do all that, and North Korea knows that, and China every once in a while shows that shows that strength. You but, want something to watch with popcorn? If China just said "fuck it," and we going around, in, goes into North Korea, treat them like Poland, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. But Trump was talking about how you know China should take care of uh, North Korea. They already do. But the thing <laughs> to North, a point, North Korea has an endless amount of uh, like military. Want right. to know why? Because the poor people at that southern tip of China just go down there. They they right. just recruit motherfuckers from that. Right. I'm obsessed with documentaries about North Korea. Yeah. There was one called Under the Sun I watched during the break. Yeah. This this guy was uh, filming a documentary, and and you got to go through the government with your footage every day. Yeah. They had a second card. So they got to pass the. They they snuck some shit out. So they can never go back then. Oh, no. It's called Under the Sun. It's on Netflix. Oh, that's amazing. I've got to watch it. it. It was pretty good. It's called Under the Sun. And, uh, yeah, they snuck some cards out. So where, where do you find one? it? On Netflix, I Netflix. believe. Right. They, they, uh, they had one card where they showed the government, and the government's like, okay, you're good. Yeah, you could you could use all that any way you want. And then they had the other card that they snuck out. I don't I'm know how they snuck didn't it out. search them for that. I don't know. Now, were the parents, did the family get punished after this footage got out? No. No. Because it wasn't them who, uh, no. who fooled the government. But they also showed them having, like, dinner and then doing the scene over and over, over and get over right. again. And it's supposed to be a documentary where you're kind of just <sighs> filming. It's propaganda. It's total propaganda. But they like, don't say it this way, because if you say it this way, it's way better than how you said it. And the father has to have a much better job than what he actually has. And the mom has to uh, have a better job. And they shot that part. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So you learn all that. You got to see the strings getting pulled. Yes. Oh, sneaky bastards. There's some footage of them on the subway, the North Koreans, and you can tell they are just in hell. Because usually when you see footage from North Korea, everyone's happy and like this right, is the greatest, sharing is the greatest and, place on earth. Are they all crying together for right. the leader's death? Yeah. What if you see everybody crying in a country? Nigga, stop. Vice had a documentary on North Korea where they sent Dennis Rodman over. Right. I haven't seen like that. that one yet. Yeah. And that had some great footage, too, yeah, where they were one. sneaking uh, quick glances out of the hotels because they knew the rooms were bugged. Right. So they would have, like, you know, they'd turn the cameras on and off, on and off. Like, so you see, like, sort of like half a blanket over the lens at some point. Right. But they're capturing a whole bunch of stuff. You piece all these documentaries together, and you, you're really seeing what's going on over there. Yeah, and they make believe everyone's going to school and this and that, and then it turns out, like, a lot, a lot of these kids aren't going to any school. They're just facades and, and buildings that are empty. Yeah. It's Fake cr- cities. It's crazy, man. 
But that was one of the uh, one of the many documentaries I saw. Did you see Twinsters yet? No. Twister is really good. I gotta catch up on my fucking doc. That's another one on Netflix. Basically, this uh, this girl, she's she's in Hollywood. She's had some roles here and there, and then she was part of this video that sort of went viral. And this girl in London, all her friends were like, "Man, that was a real funny video you were in." And they're like, "What are you talking about? I'm not in no YouTube video." So they show it to her, and she's like, "Holy fuck, that that girl looks exactly like me." Really. And then it turns out they, they tell you this very early on in the film, so I'm not giving any real spoilers away. Turns out they're they're actual twins that were given up at birth, and and they never knew they had a twin uh, sister. See, that's the crazy stories. That do you remember the Olympic uh, gymnast that that happened with? No, she was a gold medal Olympic gymnast. One, the girl used to see her on TV and be like, "Oh my God, I want to be in Olympics too." Right. She reminds me of me. I'm doing. She had no legs though. Right. Turns out she was the sister of the girl in the Olympics. What? Yes, and she had no legs, and she performs gymnastics without legs. Did they know each other? Yes, they met. They had a whole documentary oh, but, about that. But they oh. didn't know they were... They didn't know they, they were uh, related. They didn't know they had a twin. Right. The parents knew. It wasn't even a twin. It was a sister. It was the one without the legs is the older sister. They gave up. Oh, the parents I see. Gave okay. up. I got gotcha. you. Oh. And then a world away. But they the kids, out. The, the two girls had no idea they had a sibling. No. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot like Twinsters. Crazy. Isn't that wild? Could and you they, imagine? And they say in the movie, look, if it wasn't for the times we're living in with the internet and you all that, know. they would have just lived their lives without ever knowing that they actually had a, a twin on the other side of the world. I have a, I have a twin brother, but I don't talk to him because he doesn't have a lisp, so I'm kind of jealous of him. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's doing well. He's, yeah. <laughs> and then I finally saw the Doc Ellis documentary, The No-No. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. I saw that one. The 30 for 30? Uh, was that a 30 for 30? I, I always get confused. Just because it's a sports movie, I'm not sure if it was a 30 for 30. But when he, he pitched with the, he uh, with the to, acid. Cause it, unreal. He was a great pitcher, by the way. He was a, he was a mean motherfucker. And, but he admitted he was uh, he was fucked up every time he got to the mound. And yeah. not just on the greenies that everybody in baseball was doing, especially back then. Yeah. What but are greenies? supposedly uh, some kind of speed that uh, uh, speed. almost just about every player was doing in the uh, 70s and 80s. Probably into the 90s. Then he had one story where he was like uh, hanging out at some house doing drugs in L.A. And then he was like, hey, man, you're supposed to pitch in 15 minutes. Uh, that's the fucking, <laughs> that's the acid story. Because yes. a lot of people think he's just said, I'm pitching today. I'm going to fucking I'm drop gonna do acid. acid. Right. He didn't no, know. No, he was partying his balls off. And then they say, you're pitching the next uh, tomorrow or whatever. You have, you have to get down. I think it was San Diego, right? Right. You have to get down to San Diego. And he was still fucked up on acid and, and, and pitched a an, uh, no hitter. But he was hitting batters left and right. That's, the kind of drug, that's not the kind of drug you could fucking function on. I mean, you could, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like pitching. I don't know how the fuck he probably saw like two batters. Could and, you look up his stats from that I game? I think he hit like six to eight people. <laughs> I, no, I think Sherrod's More? right. Yeah, I think about he, six to he's eight. He's on acid. He's, he's, he pitches a no hitter, but he also hit a shitload of dudes. He loaded the bases. <laughs> could you find out how many, how many people he hit in his no hitter on an uh, LSD? <laughs> and then I didn't know this. You saw it, right? No hitter. This yeah. has been out there for, uh, long enough where I could give away spoilers. Yeah, yeah, it's been one. out for a while. I didn't know that he fucking sobered up later in his life. Oh, yeah. And really ended up helping people with substance abuse. Yeah, before he died. I have no so, idea, because yeah. cause his story up to that, you're like, there's no way. Some people you just know that are, they'll never they'll, get right. they'll never get right, mm -hmm. I think. But He seemed I, like he was one of those people. Yes, and yeah. then all of a sudden I'm like, holy fuck, he turned it all around. Yeah. And then ended up helping a lot of people later in his life. Died well, young, too. What died was he, young. 60, I want to say he was like in his early 60s when he went. But um, lived a life. You know what athlete I think was doing acid when they uh, stepped into the ring? Uh, Ronda Rousey. Uh, the, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Fuck. <laughs> Man, I felt so got, bad. Oh, oh man! How bad did you feel? Like it was I like felt, seeing your girlfriend get beat up, and you thought she could you, win it. <laughs> it's like, oh I, damn! I don't understand Twitter sometimes. I'm not. I know I'm not yeah. saying anything crazy here today because we all deal with it. But right. she people couldn't wait to just beat the shit out of her on Twitter. I because, as a yeah. human being, I'm like, this is horrible. Yeah. And I know she made $3 million and, uh, and uh, Amanda Nunes made 100000 or something yeah. like that. What? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 And, uh, and, and Nunez was pissed off because, you know, uh, Ronda was getting all the attention even though Amanda Nunez is the champion. Yeah, but that's what she, 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 she's cuter. Don't try to yeah, act like you don't know what it is to be a woman. 
Yeah. The cute one get the money. Dude, she, 48 seconds. 48 seconds. It was, it, been, it, was, it was not, uh, it's not a 48 second. It was from the second it, it was, started. Oh, no, it was like, it was over after five seconds. Easiest money ever made. Couldn't she grab her legs? That's what she does. Amanda that, Nunez punches like a dude. Too. Like a dude. Oh. She can look at those shoulders. She's, she's, got, she's like, got heavy hands, man. Look at that. But oh. she's got like. That's a dude getting beat up. That's a girl getting beat up by a boyfriend. <laughs> I, and, I, 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 and then she walks around the ring with that shh. She's shushing everybody. Yeah, because everybody's talking shit. Yeah. She look, the, Ronda Rousey looks like oh, just some, someone they took oh. out of the stands. It's like, what's the difference between that fight and us putting somebody in there who never trained ever in their life? Yes, that's what I said. It, it would have lasted like, one second longer than this fight. It oh, looks yeah. like she came uh, out of the stands. You don't know how to avoid getting punched, bitch? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck, man. I like Ronda Rousey. I feel bad that she lost like Shut this. Up. I know she had suicide in her mind before when she lost, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go through that dark place again. But goddamn. But I felt. I know she made three million dollars. I felt horrible for the the broad. Hardest money you ever made. <laughs> I felt bad, and then you go on Twitter. It's like, holy fuck, dude, there's animals out there. Because they hate her. They well, hated her because she was cocky at first. She had that Muhammad Ali cockiness to her. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, she didn't talk like Muhammad Ali, obviously, but. And people she rooting for Muhammad Ali. hated, yeah. is what I'm saying. Oh, man. Like Muhammad did. She's Remember she came out against the girls who was coming down on her body saying she looked too strong? She was like, because I do stuff for my body. I'm not a do-nothing bitch. Right. So girls will have animosity toward that. But this was her big comeback after oh, This was the comeback. And she wasn't even in it. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh, she shouldn't have fought this chick. No. She shouldn't have fought this chick when the first oh, one back. Le- she shouldn't have uh, for the title on the first go back. No. And Warm least, it up. At least learn how to box or at least fucking dive at her legs. Learn how to duck, bitch. How about <laughs> learn how to, like, protect yourself? <sighs> that first punch got through and it was over. Done. I felt so fucking bad. Like, I, I don't... Did I you really no feel kidding. bad? I felt so bad. You know why? You don't because want nobody to lose like that. Nobody to get beat like that in anything. You want to at least see some kind of competition. Yeah. And Because right. it's it, it just... Everything she's done in the past... That's a Dude oh, right look at there. that! That's a, that's like a dude. Person. That's a yeah. dude right there, man. Oh, you, you know what? Well, she she moves around the 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 octagon like a dude. Is, is that bad? To oh, say? look at those punches! No, look that's not bad to say. I would say check the chromosomes on the song, bitch. Everything she's done in the past is a race now because of that. Everything. Oh yeah, oh Everything. yeah. This is your this is your legacy now. That's it. Like you well, know, if two, Ollie, if Ollie, two in a row, two in a row. Sorry, yeah, bitch. Not, that's uh, right. Holly Holm gave her a beating too, but not like this. Not like uh, this. Was, Holly Holm's uh, she beat her pretty good. It was a couple rounds, though, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. She's getting... Pu- it's like... Not, I mean, she couldn't even protect herself or nothing. God, she was damn. out. And, and hasn't been heard from since, really. Oh, no. She's not going to be heard from. There's a There was a picture that was going around. A fan, like, hugged her outside. The, oh, yeah. Uh, and know. she was, like, hugging, like, crying type of... Yes. To a plain fan? Yeah. I but guess, you know what? I guess a fan, uh, you yeah. know, saw her leaving the MG... Was it the MGM? I, I think forgot so. exactly where it was, but a fan saw her leaving and went up to her and hugged her. And then this picture went viral. God damn, what can I get out there? That was a good car, though. I, I rented that one. I don't rent all of them, but I rented yeah. that one. That, oh, that, was, oh. that was all right. I get a lot of those after my shows. A fan will come up and hug me. After. <laughs> hey, look, it wasn't your fault. Uh, we oh saw, we God, went to a bar that. where it was playing at. Yeah. You know, we rushed from the, the show. I was in Buffalo. We rushed, get over there. We get a table waiting for us and stuff. You know, we sit down, watch the first fight. You know, the end of the first yeah, yeah. Then watch this. Like that. Done. And right. you're like... Can you, and I said, there's motherfuckers that flew into Vegas for this. Yeah. That fucking paid top uh, yeah, dollar. Yeah, but it's still great. Yeah. That's great. It's still a That's situation. That's amazing. Listen, I went to several Tyson fights that ended right. quickly. I went to the one when he got bit, when he bit Holyfield. I was there with the brawl and MGM and all that. Wait, you were there then? There. In, in Vegas. In the, arena. Yeah, in the arena in Vegas. I wasn't in the fight pub, I was in the MGM. And then the fight came spilling out. Oh, all yeah, the you came spilling out fighting. This. Yeah. Oh, you did? I did the documentary with, uh, yeah. I what thought, was it, Bob Sugar? I thought you were actually at, in the arena for the fight. You were at the casino. In the casino. For the aftermath, which was pretty But crazy. this was during the fight and after the fight. Because well, everybody came spilling out into the casino. What was the fight at, out in the, was it a gang fight? I kind of remember it. I, what it was, was just it? somebody, it was like a simple local thing, but everybody was so angry. First, yeah. at the beginning, it was great in the casino. What a fight was going on. But once the fight ended that way, everybody who came out of that fight was so angry. You could feel the tension in the air. Right. You knew something was going to kick off. Right. Some because people was pissed off. Well, that was the fight where he bit Holyfield. When he bit Holyfield. Okay. Why would you be so, pissed off of that? You just saw something that people will talk about for hundreds of years. Yeah, but you, you don't see the fight. That, you people, just, you just want to see the fight. He bites his ear off and, and spits, spits it. it out. It's amazing, but yeah. Uh, that's, I would love to have But it was just so much tension. That. 
One fight kicked off. The next thing you know, everybody's brawling. You see old ladies getting stomped on. I pulled one lady out the way because she was getting trampled. People uh, jumping the fucking front desk just taking money out the registers. No. I swear to God, people taking all the chips. Everybody who's like a blackjack dealer, they book. All the employees booked the fuck out of there. They left all the chips on the tables. You said everything. You said black in there. What black what? Oh, black blackjack. Jack, yeah. Oh, the blackjack black dealers oh, and all that. Oh, yeah. I thought you said. <laughs> yeah, the, the nigger dealers and all that. They <laughs> and oh, everybody left. And they took jack dealer. It was on TV the yeah. same day that night. The New York Knicks player caught stealing chips. No. They could, yes. But wait a second. They recognized him, but they didn't recognize anybody else who was stealing them. But wait, after the fight, did they call the fight after he bit his ear? I don't remember. Oh, they called after the second bit. I have second bite. bite. Yeah, he yeah. bit him twice. He what? bit both ears. What the fuck? Because he knew he was going to lose. Tyson knew he was going to lose. Did he bend down and pick up his ear right there? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Oh. Let me yeah. go to the phone real fast There were so many people in Vegas. Yeah, let's go to Larry in Pennsylvania. Larry. Hey, boys. Um, What's up, Larry? Jones said that Ronda Rousey should come back one more time and show her courage and also said that her training is terrible. She needs to go to a serious MMA gym and train as an MMA fighter. Oh. Well, where is she training now? I don't know. I'd have to read it again on ESPN, but it, her gym is not a very good gym, according to Jones. Oh. She needs to go to an MMA gym and get some training. She was. She's a submission artist, arm bars. Right. And right. That's She's never really scrapped. Yeah, she never even got up to that opportunity in this fight. She I just think, got beat. But I did think, she say she could outbox Mayweather? <laughs> yes. No. I, think, yeah. I mean, <laughs> she should start. So I, maybe I understand Twitter after yeah. all. She should maybe start Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, she's she's all about judo, obviously. I yeah. mean, you know, she can't go toe to toe with Amanda Nunes. Why did she dive at her legs? Just dive and grab her. Dude, That's she what was she was too late. Like that first said, punch is already taken from her. The first though. punch, she was uh, she was uh, already dazed and confused. Yeah, I and mean, then it was just a matter of time. Who would win that? It, it, and did this <laughs> other guy, McGregor, and uh, if Mayweather would fucking. Pummel him, wouldn't he? I would think so. In a boxing match, yeah. you well, would you would think. Because there's the thing about Mayweather, people don't realize it, but people will fought him realize it. He's hard to hit. He's hard to hit. Right. You can't get a clean glove on a nigga. Well, he avoids. He, he's quick. He's quick as hell, and he can hit you and score and get out the way. Yeah, he's and a, he stands like this, like sideways. A lot of his fights were a bore. The only person who the probably beat him see. was his pops back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Made him a great fighter. They're not going to fight these two, are they? No. No, no they're, you know. It's they're all shit talking. I, uh, what do you think? Ronda Rousey comes back? <sighs> she has she's to. Got she Hollywood. She's she got, can't go out like this. But she's got Hollywood. She's got the WWE's. You know, sniffing listen, around. Hollywood will drop you like that. Oh, yeah. After in this? a second. Well, yeah. her in stock drastically dropped. Wow. You know, so I think she comes back. You can't go out like this. <laughs> you know, in a, Man, if, she if, if he was old or whatever, but she's still young. Ronda Rousey is going to be teaching Pilates next month. Money. She'll uh, be at WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, WrestleMania. She was there two years ago. Yep. Started a little something with Stephanie in order to... Set the tone, uh, you know, down the, down road, the road, and now this is she's done with here. She'll be there for WrestleMania. So you think it's going to be she's going to be one of the divas? She's going to be no, 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 no. It'll no. be a specialty thing, okay, here and there. Yeah, so it'll start in January. Well, probably this month with the World Rumble, and then they tease all the way up to March, April for I, uh, WrestleMania. I don't think she shows her face in, I don't in the so. next month. She is not going to show her face anytime Why? Who's going to recognize her? I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's easy to say now, but she should have like picked. She should have came back with somebody else. Don't get, go for the belt right when you get come back. get one under uh, under you. There, it's either. That's no Brazil go, man. Yeah, because yeah, that, that Amanda Nunes is no <sighs> joke. <laughs> oh I wouldn't fight that bitch. <laughs> I would braid her hair and be like, "You the champ." <laughs> <laughs> that is a. T- you see her shoulders and shit. And like the, there? Did you see the girl she was just making out with before yeah. the fight? No, I don't know what that was about. I I'm assuming it, they're together. If I was in prison with her, she'd probably fuck me. I'm yeah, like, you'll be a soft bottom. I know, <laughs> <laughs> tenderized bottom. <laughs> tenderized. <laughs> I, she was getting all, uh, you know, into it. Let me yeah, see yeah, that. Oh yeah, a little intimate before. I mean, not a full make out. I, I, no, he puts make out in Google. But you know what's It was girl more than a good luck kiss. I'll tell you that much. It was on the mouth? It was more than a good luck, uh, you know. I think that might be his, uh, her uh, her lady. A lady friend? Yeah. Be. It was before the fight. I don't know if you're going to see it. Ron is, I mean, commentator? I mean, I don't even think Hollywood's calling for her for, like, roles and shit like that. Like, well, 18-2 no, or whatever. She's going to be in Roadhouse. 
Is she the new movie? Right, Eddie Rock, you know this. Yeah, she's doing the Patrick Swayze role for uh, for Roadhouse. Female version of Roadhouse. They pulling that. With Ronda Rousey. I think so. Yeah, that's I my think, girlfriend. I think they would scrap that. Oh, wait, it's not. Uh, they haven't started filming that one? She fought some dude. Let me take a look. I feel like they that might even be in the can already. I don't know. The, 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 who's going to see it? I feel bad. Who's going to yeah, see that I shit? Did, I thought I. I don't even follow uh, this stuff. And after this, I'm going, man. I feel so fucking horrible. You should horrible. follow, man. I mean, it, I feel bad for him. The UFC used to be very uh, a lot more sportsmanship. Now there's a lot of beefs. A I'll lot tell you what, a lot, fucking, of, a lot of guys that just don't like each other. I'll tell you what, it's just cool. making. I think yeah. as a fan, it's making it better. Yeah. What's fucking cool is. Did you see the Dominic Cruz fight? No. With Cody, who, uh... How was that? Huh? How? Cody Garbrandt. Cody Garbrandt. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, Cody won the title from Dominic Cruz, and they, they've been shit-talking for a while. And uh, Dominic Cruz got beat up pretty good. And Did I, he? And at the end, he looks at him like... He gives them this, like, are we going to hug or not? And it was a cool moment because you know they were shit talking. Right. And then they, they hugged at the end of the fight. Oh, I want to see that. And Cody, who was in here, a pretty cool dude. He, uh, they've both been in here. They're both cool guys. Uh, he's the new champion. Wow. Well, yeah. that, what's cool is seeing fucking Rogan in the ring at the end interviewing fucking, uh, these guys? No, the girl. He, he was interviewing the Ronda? No, the other one. The oh, winner. Nunez. Yeah. yeah. You didn't see that? No, I turned. Of, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, he's been doing straight. that for he's been doing that for years. But I didn't know he was doing these big big fights. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He does he's the big the ones. Guy. Yeah, he's the main dude. Get he's the, the fuck main, out, really? He's yeah, been he's, the main announcer forever. Yeah, he's the main dude. He's number 1 over there. He is the <laughs> guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was so fucking cool. I didn't know that cuz I don't watch this stuff. No, man. He does he does a great job with it, too. So, we should take our first break. There it is. By the way, I don't think oh, the hey. movie was shot. Yeah. Oh, okay. It got it, delayed and delayed. Like, the last update I saw was February, and it was being pushed back to May of 2016. Yeah. And then there's really nothing else. Oh, it ain't happening. Oh, it ain't yeah. happening then. How was your break? You Raven rock? Simone's going to take the lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, mine was good. Yeah? Yeah. Caught up on a lot of things and uh, then also did nothing. So it was great. You watch any documentaries? No. You're not a doc guy, though. Right? I am, but it, it depends on what it is. Yeah. I can watch I, anything on Netflix. i got to see that in Any documentary. Turn, you got to watch I watched, show. I watched Tree Man. Oh, I think I might have talked about that before the break. The, the, guys, that sell, the guys that sell the Christmas trees oh, in Manhattan. Oh, yes. Yes. I saw a commercial for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was Pretty boring. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> pretty boring. The dude's still out there, you know. The family, huh? The guy with the family who's still on the west side. I think. Yeah, yeah. He's up on uh, where was he? Ninety. Yeah, uh, on the west side over there. He's over there now. for the people, like ninety fifth and Broadway, somewhere up there. Yeah, sixth and Broadway. He's right over there by Stand Up New York, not too far from it. The movie starts where he leaves his family in Quebec to sell trees in uh, in Manhattan. He's been doing it forever. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty noble, and he's probably making some good cash for his family. He's not even the owner. He's just one of the schlubs. Right. Because now he's waiting on his corner, and then the big, huge truck comes by with all the Christmas trees and just throws like a hundred of them down at his feet, and then he sets them up. So is one dude running all the trees in New York? Fuck yeah. Mob shit. Go go look at... No, it's not worth it. Tree Man was boring. I can't turn people onto that document. But it's good to know that the mob is running Christmas trees, too, in the city. I didn't say that. (laughs) It was a giant truck. There had to be, if I had to guess, a thousand Christmas trees in this thing. And they go from you know corner to corner and drop, drop off the off. load and go to the next one. Yeah, it's, hope- it's one company more or less that, wow. that does it. I thought it was a nice little mom, mom and, and pop, pop fucking that's what I company thought. thing. Oh, I just hope it's not Jews it's just like the, the halal guys. You think yeah. it's just all individual trucks and then it turns out they're all all the working? Same. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. to go to the Hello Brothers right there by the Hilton. I go there all the time. The yeah, that's, Hotel oh, that's, the one. That's, that's the best amazing. one. That is, uh, me and Steve Burns will go there. 54th or 50th? Yeah. Fucking yeah. Name, at the end of the day, name at the, dropper. <laughs> <laughs> at the end Steve of the Burns day. Steve Burns was the name. <laughs> At the end of the day in uh, Central Park, you've been in Central Park when the white trucks show up and and put all the carts back on, like uh, like Iraq saying. What carts? You know the hot dog guys. And the oh yeah, guys. yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah, because like the Iraq just said, I always just thought it was like oh, a nice little business for for a little family. It's like it's it's all it's corporate. Big, that one big corporate. The business. one you're saying by Hill there's a line down the block for that. Always. But what yeah. do you think they do with that food they don't sell that night? Like. 
Well, they know they. What, they do you, what do you mean? They have garbage cans right next to it. They just dump everything. Yeah, and they you can up. tell that place is good because everybody's going there. Been going there for over a decade. Most oh yeah, people. The, for a while the it was they, the good ones were on one corner and then the knockoffs Not on the ones. other. Yep. Then they got rid of the knockoffs yep. and now they're on both. They're corners. on both. Oh corners. really? Yeah. Yeah. They used like to have a, just a soda dude <laughs> who just sold like soda. You have three trucks on one side. Uh, well, they're uh, carts. 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 Yeah. Three yeah. carts. Yeah. Spaced out just right. to handle the lines, right. and then there's two on the other side okay. by the CBS building. They're spreading out, and they, it's all the same company. You know yeah. where they keep those cars at night in these fucking garages? Yeah, stuff. it's a lot of rats over there. I, I, I didn't say it. No, I said it. <laughs> there's got to be tons of. Well, at least you know if it's the halal. They know their own people eating it. You know what I'm saying? If you see people making it, eating it, <laughs> I'm all right with that. Right. I, I feel better about it. If I go to a Chinese restaurant, ain't no Chinese people there. There ain't no meat there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, they eat upstairs and you eat downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, fuck that. I go to the ramen noodle place because of you. Oh, on uh, downtown? What are you Outside talking? this building. Oh, that's right not here. me. Bonnie's, that's Bonnie's, that's Bonnie's place. Bonnie's place. It's yeah. good as hell in But there. just like you just said, that's the only reason I'm bringing it up. I, uh, Bonnie's talking about the ramen noodles at this joint. It's very close to here. I walked by and gave a peek, and I saw nothing but Asians in there. I'm like, this is the well, place This is the place. Hey. The food is amazing. How about the fucking place right down across the street from the cellar that that, type that has the soup? The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, what's the name of that place? The Vietnamese, I don't know. What, just a fucking line to get in the yeah. best soup. The yeah. best this, it's got a porky broth. I ain't waiting online for soup. No, you got it. You well, they got it. sandwiches. No, they got everything. the soup Fucking man right soup. in Midtown for Seinfeld. He soup was man. an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a guy across the street during the winter. We haven't seen him in like two years. A soup he, dude? Yeah, he was here all the time and a huge line because he just had all a bunch of homemade stuff until he was sold e- out. E-Rock, I'm fucking hungry. E-Rock, tell Sherrod and Voss how much of an asshole the soup Nazi was. He had a big buy when we were uh, syndicated buy. on on CBS. Right, Huge he buy. never would come. Like they, he'd show up on all these other little shitty morning shows around New York, I think but he, he came wouldn't by come once. Up. I never saw him in our studio. We never like or maybe talked on the to him phone? or something, something right. like that. All right, but. Huge buy, and we always asked, you know, we'll send soups every day. What do you want? And Ann only just wanted turkey chili. That's all he wanted turkey every chili. day. Yeah. And that was, like, the most impossible task because they gave us all the shit that nobody bought the day before. Oh. So you're getting, like, split pea with ham and all the you other would, shit oh. that nobody wants. We get, we were supposed to – yeah, just to tag what <laughs> E-Rock's saying. Big buy, we get soup every day, but he was he was giving us the shit that didn't sell. He wouldn't give us the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's sneaky bastard. The turkey chili goes fast. The chicken noodle goes fast. Yes, yeah, the lobster. The seafood, bisque. Go, yeah, the lobster bisque. The crab gumbos, bisque. All the oh, fucking hungry. Yeah. So good. So good. You know, uh, it's so funny because this weekend when I'm at the Helium in Philly. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, Thursday through Saturday when I'm at Hilly after you go to the entire bang and vote for Rich Voss for best album of the year. Okay. Last day to vote. I'll be in Philly Thursday through Saturday. I'm going to find the place that sells turkey chili. What do you mean it's the last day to vote? It's 2017. All that shit goes away. Wait, for the Intera Bang, for the best, bang they had the for, best, for, for best last album, year, best though, right? Yeah, today's so the last day to vote. How about the, how about December thirtieth is the last day to vote? How about I don't fucking run it? I don't know. <laughs> how about I'm just trying to fucking when a new year to, uh, turns yeah, you over. You don't give a fuck about any of the stuff from the last. Yeah, year. all the acquaintance oh, yes. was forgot. Yeah, yes, we do care about what happened I'm last sorry, year. Why I hope tell you, you why me tell you why we care about what happened last year? Because we just did fifteen fucking minutes on that fight, and that happened last year. Okay, fuck face. Anyhow. All right. I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking it. about the best, the, the best movie, the best book, the best okay. this and the best. Who gives a fuck? Should when 2017 is okay. First of all, I cannot sit here but watching good, you uh, fucking good take on fake it. scratching your nose, and, and then you wipe your my beard. Mustache. Yeah, then you wipe your it's beard. You, my I hope nostril. you find three boogers in your beard later. <laughs> Booger beard. Uh, <laughs> it, this beard stinks. No, it looks good. It smells so bad. But it's so much fun to have a beard. You got to shampoo the fuck out of it, though. By you the do, end of the day, day, every day. By the end of the day, it smells like a wet dog. I never spill shit on my <laughs> shirt no more. I don't think <laughs> I have... It does. You got the long beard. You know what I'm talking about. Now I put it's a hard. baby. I got a baby lotion and all that in here. You got to wash it. I moisturize. Day. No, you got to wash more than. Yeah, I wash it every day. A couple yeah. times a day. Oh, I, I wash what? it at night. Well, when I I had one for like three weeks and. Yeah. Big and bushy. I had to wash my face every night because just waking up in the morning, it's all matted. And yeah. Oh. Wait, do you have pictures of you with this beard? Uh, let me see. And why did you shave it? Yeah, was it patchy? Or came back to he look. was sick of people, little kids sitting on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> that was the incentive. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you bring me that? <laughs> ah, nice. Oh shit! Real nice. All right, so I hope everyone votes for you. 
On the entire bang. Uh, best album? Best album of the there day. You go. And Helium this weekend. Thursday through Saturday. Right. Philly Helium. I want to see you rock with a beard. And Sherrod, what do you got going on? Yes, on 28th, I'll be in Poughkeepsie. Get the tickets now at the fucking, what's the room up there? The Laugh something? Oh, I'm there the week fucking the, before. before. Yes. yes. They wanted me to come up to clean that mess up. <laughs> you can't. You can't clean that up. And, the 28th, and, I'll be up there. And let's start promoting that. You'll be doing New Year's Eve in, in Times Square yeah. next Fox, Oh, yeah, next year. Yeah. At the end of this year yeah. for Fox. Because they'll get at me now. Oh, they need you, bro. They got a book me from now. Oh, were they awful? Oh, I'm so <laughs> bad. I knew. I called up there and told Bill Shine. I was like, "Listen, man, it, it was horrendous. you're making a mistake. It was horrendous. It's so bad. Fox New Year's Eve show was so bad. Your competition is is Kathy Griffin and uh, Anderson Cooper and, you and can't Ryan be that. Seacrest. And you can't beat that. And nonsense. I and I turned them off. Oh, no. I only tuned in because I'm like, I, I wonder if my pal is on it this year. I, I should have just up. texted you. It would have saved me 20 minutes. Yeah, I was at the stand. We're on. Nice. We did a bunch of shows over there, Artie Lang. Didn't watch in, uh, Janine on the show, too? Janine Groffalo. I fucking love her, man. She was great. I, I, I have the biggest crush on her since I was fucking 15. I think she's For real? such a fucking... She's so fucking good on shit. I have I, comedy crushes, though. When you're a comedian, yes. you crush on... You'd be like, this is not a woman who Ugh. would be... But it's like, this is the... I if love If I her. could just spend a weekend <laughs> alone with Gary Goldman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is an Adonis. <laughs> For her comedy? Yes, I going? Did. Yeah, I just... Yes. Yeah, I, I love her. because of her comedy? She's my cute. Crushes, looks. It's a comedy and a looks. She was together. Cute. Right. But she was a great comic. I mean, She's it's weird when they're like comedy. When you like people, maybe you might have a crush on somebody who was like a radio personality and other people like this. God, oh. no. Yes. Never, oh, God. Never one of these weird monsters who walk around here. I hate radio guys. Come on. You didn't want to fucking. I think I made that obvious You don't want to sleep with Allison. <laughs> you don't want to sleep with Allison Steele. <laughs> oh, there you go. Who's Allison Steele? Let me think if I had a crush on a radio. Was that her name? Broad. You had to. I'm going to try to be. Uh, Maybe early I, on. I'm trying to think. God no. Was it that? Maybe maybe the personality. Maybe somebody in the office. I mean, maybe somebody who you. Look. Some of these, you know, they would have the the sexy voices, and then oh, you would, and then that. you would see what they look like. I worked with a girl that had a real. Ah oh, man, I can't oh, do this in 2017. <laughs> no, tell, tell me, tell me. I can't. Who is she? It causes problems all the time. Who is she? Well, I mean, I've worked at enough stations, so they, you know. So they don't know. Ah. Oh, she She had such a sexy voice, and then when it was time for the, the promo shots for the yeah. radio station, they hit her behind a tree with giant sunglasses. Because she was a big girl? Because she was ugly. Oh. I, I think I might have that photo. <sighs> don't say her name. Okay, we, pull I the think photo. we did this when we were on We've CBS. done this a couple <laughs> times. I want to see it. So, like, guys, <laughs> I'll go look. guys would call me up. She was on either after me, before, I don't know exactly, but she was on right around, before or after me on one of these stations. And they would all ask, what does she look like? Right. She had the sexiest voice. And I had to lie to them. She was like, oh, she looked after and, 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 her? What? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> who, was, who was the lady Shut that? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. So then, then, you know, they wanted to get the promo shots for all the jocks. Right. And everyone else is out in the bright sunlight. It was this photo shoot. And then they got the idea to put her behind a tree. Like she's peeking? She's kind of peeking out. But the, the part of her face that's peeking out has sunglasses on. Was she that? <sighs> Well, obviously she wasn't. Nah. The voice was much better than the physical. Ridiculous. Really? Yes. Like phone, if she was a phone sex operator. Ridiculous. Oh, I yes. want to see her face. Pull her up, Eric. Whatever, how you know how they say you have a face for radio? <laughs> yeah. She should be the poster for <laughs> What happened to Leslie Gold? Remember her? She was yeah, sexy. Yeah, she was sexy. Whatever happened to her? Leslie she works at Fox. Fox Radio? Fox Radio. Yeah. She, uh, she, Alan Combs. I, don't, I, oh. I haven't seen her in years, but, uh, yeah. and we certainly had our issues over the years, but, uh, she was sexy. What y'all used to do to her over there? That's when y'all was in the same I studio. Didn't you have a remember part? Remember all these beefs? Didn't, <laughs> I know, see? Didn't she have a part, the partner with a bald head? <laughs> just like, I'm just like an 18 wheeler. Yeah, but just, you. I'm an 18 wheeler just driving into rush hour traffic and just, I just keep going. You're you, like an 18 wheeler at a fucking German Christmas parade. <laughs> oh my god. You and fucking Butchie and, you and Anthony and Butch had a thing with that guy Butchie and her. But uh, it, was, it was the guy, not her. I, I honestly don't know what the beef was between us. I was on that show a bunch. So was I. Uh, no, I, did I don't it know twice. if there was a. Uh, Chuck Nice was on there, right? I don't yeah. I don't know if there was yeah, a. Yeah, Chuck was on there. Yeah, no, Chuck Nice loves me because I was the one that turned him on to that show. Yeah, we all auditioned was, for it because who left? Somebody left. They fired Mike. I forgot his last name. He was there with Leslie. What, the then, pro 
and then he left, and it was just Butchie and her, and then they brought Chuck in. Right. And I, I, I walked Chuck down to Leslie's office. I introduced those two. Oh, so, really? And because uh, we were having a lot of comics, I just didn't have any spots left. This was uh, NEW. I go, Chuck, I really like you a lot, but I just, uh, we, I don't have airtime for you, but I know they're looking. And I marched him down the hall after he was on our show one day, and they hit it off, and they ended up doing radio for years. What yeah. happened to him? I haven't seen Chuck's him around New York. I haven't no, no. seen him in New York. Chuck in, did, uh, yeah, like a couple weeks Chuck ago. Did the, the last live show of the year for us over yeah. here. Well, one of the last. Yeah, Chuck's still performing and stuff. He I came, talked to him all he came time. by yeah, for the first him. time in years. It was good to reconnect with him. Yeah, he's still doing a lot of TV stuff, too. Is he still married to the uh, that Asian yeah. girl? they still married. All right, now they're in Jersey. Inside. No one cares. I know. Well, we went inside a while Buddy ago, Bolton now used to produce getting... that show, too. Yeah. What's that? Buddy Bolton used to be one of the producers on a radio chick show. Yes. Yeah. All right, why don't we take a break? Small so, world. So you got what? The 28th, Poughkeepsie. Right. Go see him. Helium this weekend for Rich. Yes, in Tarot Bank. Vote best con- uh, best album of the year. Oh, yeah. I'm in Sag Harbor on the 13th. Wow. That's right. I got a show in Sag Harbor. Doing what? It's comedy. Where's Sag yeah. Harbor? That's Me, all- Christian Finnegan, and uh, Joe Vesey. What is that place called again? It's a theater up there. It's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Bay Street Theater. Bay Street Theater. That's where I'll be. Where's that, Long Island? Uh, yeah. Sack Harbor, Long Island, yeah. My brother used to, I think that's a good room, too. Joe Vesey runs that room, but me and Christian going up there. It used there. to be a nightclub back in the day. Was it? Is that a weekend? I think that's the place. Yeah. And my brother used to bartend there. Oh, look at that. That's Friday Crazy. night. Theater. Is it a Friday night? Yeah. All right, Bay Street Theater. Yeah. Uh, oh, that looks cool. It's no, going to be a great show. A week from Friday. A week from Friday, but it's on a Friday, yeah. Oh, very cool. If you're out way out there on Long Island, go to uh, Bay Street Theater a week from Friday to see Sherrod. It's going to be dope. All right, we're going to take a little break. I want to see the picture of E Rock with a beard. What else are we going to do, Iraq? Um, I don't know. we got to do a live read. For what? <laughs> we sold all the horse shit before we got out of here. Hey, you know, they keep buying, so you got to do it. Oh, Audible. Uh, Stick around for the great Audible live read. <laughs> OP Radio is back. I want to shave so bad, but then when you grow a beard, it's like... You just want to make it as ugly as possible. Why, your beard, see, yours is... It's long, it's big. And I, I, I'm not shaving anytime soon. <laughs> you know, when I had a beard last year, I didn't realize that you had to wash it until you just said that. No, when it when it uh, gets uh, longer, definitely. Yeah, my especially when you're drinking stuff. All of a sudden, it just you know when you spill some uh, liquid on a paper towel, that's what happens with the beard. That's a little longer. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're you're just drinking your coffee. You don't know that like, it's just being soaked up by your beard. You know this. But that's what I love. I can't. I never spill stuff on my shirt anymore with you a beard. Look, and then look good with the beard, beard catches. I, it. I you know. Oh, I would love to make fun of Iraq, but he looks good with a beard. Yeah. Man. You should fucking grow that out. Why you ain't do it for November for um, man, men's health? Now, why would I help anybody else out? Wow, because <laughs> prostate cancer is waiting for all of us. I nigga. just make the the, the uh, financial donation. I don't do the the uh, the stunts and the. Oh, you don't do the, the challenges. My, <laughs> mine started because of Patrice. I was bummed out. I stopped shaving, and then oh. I was like, I never grew a beard really before. I was I was goatee boy. Ugh. I couldn't grow I, a beard I, before. I look at I look at some of my old pictures when I thought I looked good with a goatee. I <laughs> oh, like God, an ecstasy daily. I can't even show my wife. Like you selling <laughs> Molly on an island. Yeah. Yeah. And then what happened? You know, when Patrice died out of nowhere like that, yeah. I got I was bummed out, and my and how it hit me was I just stopped shaving, and then and then I started uh, just doing it every year as a sort of a tribute to him, and, oh, now, okay. and it's continued. But yeah. I. I never, I never grew a beard before. My shit used to be patchy as I don't know what. And then all of a sudden, the weed probably helped. Well, all the older dudes will tell you eat more pussy. And that's that's uh, that's what they tell you to grow your beard. If yeah. you ain't got no beard and you got patches, you be like this. That boy don't eat no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say in the barber shop. <laughs> Get down there, and eat some pussy, nigga. Grow your beard out. Man. Act like a grown up. <laughs> Man, Rod just came back in and he smells yeah. good. Yeah, I was like, God, this. I love that smell. It's medicinal. It's pouring outside. Ah, is it is pouring outside? outside? This is pouring. what a lazy piece of shit I am. What? I brought a, a an umbrella, a golf umbrella to my, my car. Yeah. I parked my car in the lot. Yeah. And I said, I don't feel like carrying the umbrella. <laughs> yeah. And now I, it's fucking pouring. I refuse, <laughs> refuse to use an umbrella. I refuse. <laughs> and I will come in here completely soaked. Yes. And I don't even bitch at that point and go, why don't you fucking leave the house with an umbrella? And then I pass four or five guys selling the cheap umbrellas. Yeah. And I refuse to buy I them. have one. I fucking car. hate umbrellas. They're a yeah. pain I'd in the fucking ass. I'd rather be soaked. 
because he carry those. Them. The big ones that go, I'm carrying I got to right. hold it over right. other people's heads yeah, so I don't I fucking do cut them in the fucking head. I know this isn't normal, but I cannot use an umbrella. I hate it. I'll run from spot to spot. Yeah. Like, oh, it's dry over there. I'm going to go for it. And then I'll wait there for a little bit, and then I'll try to figure out my next spot. <laughs> I just walk through it. Fuck it. Really? I'll I come mean, in here soaked, and everyone's looking at me. What's wrong with you? It's I, like an old Chinese proverb that says, stop running and ducking on the storefront <laughs> in the rain. Just walk, because you're going to give yourself anxiety, <laughs> and you won't get wet. <laughs> and there's always someone grabbing your spot at the last second. Yes, just get gotta, wet. got to push them out of the way. But how bad is it raining, raining? Like, it's pouring bad. right now. It, it's going to end. It's going to stop. I hope it turns to snow. That'll be easy. Uh, Amanda Nunez, thank you to Twitter, is uh, out of the closet publicly, and well, that was her girlfriend at the beginning of the fight. Okay, I knew she was out of the closet because I have eyes. Yes, <laughs> no, yes. That's my eyes were. Yes. When I saw the first fucking right hand, I saw her coming in corn rolled and fucking muscled out. I was like, yeah, she no, she got a beard. If you know what I'm talking about, only, her not of, only her friends and family never had a doubt. Right? <laughs> not yeah. only did I know she was, there was never that conversation. <laughs> she had a full beard at the age of three. Not only did I know she was not out of the closet, I knew she drove the motorcycle, not the sidecar. Oh, she's a badass, man. What did she say? She was wanting around the casino after the fight just looking for a Budweiser. Oh, really? All she wanted was a Budweiser. I couldn't find one. She got a hat on, crooked. She don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't think Ronda fights her ever again, though, unfortunately. And then the other thing, uh, to prove your point, this guy striker underscore WB looks like. To prove your point, Kevin Cronin looks like a 60-something lesbian. You know who Kevin Cronin is? Oh, that name sounds familiar. Come on. Trying to think. Come on. Music. That's your hint. Music. Wait, guitarist? Mm. Lead singer. Mm. Lead singer for... Uh, God damn it. Come on, voice. Help me out. I'm... I'm uh, oh, oh, Ario, Ario Speedwagon. Ario Speedwagon. Is uh, that a guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like one of the Golden Girls. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Is that Maud's mother? <laughs> you would swear that's someone transitioning, right? Oh, he's shit. He's that looks like Rhonda Stort. <laughs> that's a little what? David Lee Roth in him. Huh? Wow. A little bit, right? Oh, and oh. the liver spots. I'm telling you. If Rhonda Stort had that's a, a girl or, or an old lady or whatever. Yes. Wow. Still, that looks like the lady I made out Are with in Miami. Are they still girls after 60? <laughs> I'm telling Golden you. girls. It's the girl, lady I made out with in Miami. Uh, when I, no, she was an old hippie at least. <laughs> Man. Look at that mess. That wasn't a lesbian. That's Kevin Cronin, the lead singer of Mario Speedwagon. I, I don't God. know if they're still doing it. Is that a blouse? Is that a lady's blouse? That's, 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 that's a little rough. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> is he a lunch lady? Oh, God. Or is that a person? Purse? Where's Fang? Oh, no. Where's Fang? <laughs> that is the purse strap. It is. Wow. It's Phyllis Diller. Oh, my God. Yeah. Good call by that guy on Twitter. Oh, that's a leash. It's a little rough. Rough. Is it close to hairdo? Well, he bleached it out. That didn't help. Uh, no. He was a bit, you know... <laughs> that motherfucker look, like somebody's look, nana. Look when he was young. I mean, come on. With the hair? He likes Stern. I mean, you know. He like Howard Stern in that picture. Yeah. So you telling me Howard Stern's going to grow up to be a lesbian? <laughs> He's no, I would never say that about Howard. <laughs> I like how the whole room got quiet and nobody made eye contact with me. <laughs> I might have pushed the Howard thing a little too far. <laughs> White beef. I might have pushed that one a little too far. <laughs> going to have to chill out on that one for a while. Oh, boy, do I have a story to tell. What? Uh, another day. All right, let's Oh! See. They all come out, though. What a tease. Wait a minute. <sighs> That's a good tease. <sighs> Something's right. going on. Don Lemon downs uh, the shots, gets ear pierced, and bizarre broadcast. Yeah, we were talking about this, but we didn't uh, play the clip. Did you see when they cut his mic? I have that queued up. For they me. cut... Dude, Don Lemon's mic? This is what I don't understand. CNN has basically told their reporters, which I think is kind of stupid, because then they have to go back to their regular reporting, and, and you remember what they were doing in these bars and on these cruise ships and whatnot. Right. They're all just getting fucking hammered on New Year's, which makes for pretty good TV, I guess. And then uh, then they're looking at Don Lemon like he went too far. Like, what did you expect? The guy's drinking tequila in New Orleans. On Yes, on New Year's Eve. Why, well, I said New Orleans tequila stronger than... Uh 
other places? You let loose. When, when, when you got more humidity, you're going you're gonna to get drunk in it. Yeah. Whenever it's a little warm or swampy, if it's swampy and you're drinking like you ain't in a swamp, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to fill your legs in a couple minutes. Mm. It is okay. So he's uh, swamp okay. drunk. Swamp drunk. He got, got gloss to him. He got that gloss. <laughs> mouth. He had what? his own hashtag trending, hashtag drunk Don Lemon. Oh, yeah. Well, people love to hate him as well on, on the old Twitter. Do they? Yes, they do. And we got a quick clip of this. This was amazing TV. Maybe not amazing. Relax a little bit. I need a little more. Pour me a little more. <laughs> a little more. Perfect. Ah! That had a big head on it. That had a big head on it. <laughs> I can't hear anything. I can't hear a thing. I can't, I hear, can't hear a damn thing. It doesn't thing. matter. I know. So, I mean, seriously, having 20, a moment. 2016 was awful. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't Look, they it. cut his mic right there because he said 2016 was uh. awful. Yeah. Drunk. Yeah, they, they cut him off. I don't know what he said after that, but they, with their delay, they said, oh my god, we gotta cut that. To be drunk on TV though, holy. And then go back to being like, uh, a well, quote, respected like, journalist, yeah. news person. It's hard to, I don't know why you would agree to get completely hammered on live TV if you're a news person. It just proves how fucking New Year's Eve is fucking amateur night. Yeah. It just proves that I gave up fucking overrated yeah. fucking night <laughs> of fucking people trying to dr out drink what they did fucking two weeks ago. Yeah. And this is fucking horrible. Just sit home, smoke crack and be a man. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up years ago going out. I, I actually like you're partying on uh, New Year's Eve to me. I like yeah. having some drinks. You're in a living room. It's warm and nice. And, and then you just flip around and check out all the coverage. Yeah. If it's like a small party with friends or something like that, I'll party like that. Right. But otherwise yeah. I'm working usually every New Year's Eve. And that's even comics we work. I work and it's I'd rather make money on that day than not yeah. make money and just spend it. Mm. And, and you're going to make extra money on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And people, and the problem is people come out to shows expecting like something, to, like I did, uh, New Year's Eve was what, Saturday, right? Yeah. I go to the people Friday, I go, you're lucky you came tonight because you're gonna, you're not gonna pay as much and I'm doing the exact same thing I'm gonna do tomorrow. Yeah, it's a better show. You get to yeah. hear it, nobody's born, yeah. fucking yeah. noise makers. In fact, tomorrow I'll probably wear the same clothes I wore tonight. There's <laughs> no oh problem about it. Oh my god. <laughs> that is, oh, yep, see? Oh my god, dude, throw that on our Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Holy fuck, you nailed it. Kevin Cronin is a golden girl. He's a golden girl. Which one was that? That was B. Arthur. So That's her B. Arthur? That's Dorothy. Dorothy. Wait, is that him? Or Nailed it, Ian. Oh, wow, did you nail it. That's Dorothy. What, E. Rock? That's her now? I mean, she's no, dead. B. Arthur's now. She's dead. dead. But I mean, I don't yeah. recognize that's why I was that confused. photo at all. That's not B. Arthur from Golden Girls. No, that's Oh, it not. might be from a movie or something, yeah, but that's, that's who B. played Arthur, her. Yeah, but not a... Yeah, okay. Right. Because I didn't recognize her at all there, but still do it. Kevin Cronin looks like B. Arthur. Yeah. Wow. She had Kevin, B. Arthur was actually in the um, OJ documentary, introducing him in an old clip when he had some parrot or some shit on his, on his shoulder. I don't remember that. Oh, it was good. Yeah, you said you saw the the whole OJ Watched documentary. the whole How five great hours that? or whatever it was. How great was How many that? hours great. was it? Maybe five to uh, ten what? or some shit. I don't remember. It was on ESPN, right? It I was... watched it on... Shit. <laughs> It was on another, another channel. It was amazing. You didn't see it? It's, it's it was worth amazing. watching amazing after much was. footage of old shit. And him at the at uh, Rockingham and right. the yeah, pool amazing. parties and amazing. after watching after watching the uh uh you know the the, the miniseries? The miniseries. Is it still worth watching? Oh, Definitely. Man, way more, better. more yes. <laughs> Cuba Gooding and all that. I, I actually, That was good. You know what? I was uh I was raving about that. I never finished that thing. You never finished the whole thing. The Cuba Gooding. Oh, what yeah. happened at the because end? Because there was a there was <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Nicole make it. <laughs> I never I had never watched the whole thing. The documentary. I got better, behind though. and then I was like, yeah. I know what that happens, but then I went with that, and I, I loved everything. Even they went into the Chris Darden stuff, and wow, wow, that poor dude. Yeah, damn, they fucked him over. But he shouldn't have never. Ah, uh, they used him as a tool. Yeah, trying to put a black face on the prosecution side, and everybody in the barber shops was like this. Fuck him. <laughs> they turned on him. Turned on him. Unbelievable. And then he then went the the word nigger used, and because it would the the black jurors couldn't take it, hear that, and be. It's like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what 
we can't be objective after we hear that word. We hear the word all the time. We say the word. <laughs> That's how you greet each other. What are you, what are you talking fun? about? Yeah, that was a bad look for him. That I was not bad. smart. Oh. Uh, yeah, but if he would have won, you think... Uh, who? You know what I mean? If the, if the prosecution would have won, won, it would have been, been another story for him. Yes, definitely. You know, it would have been definitely. a whole other. So he was counting on that win more than anybody. Yeah, but see, the thing is, he cannot say no to that. Right. Even though they, he knows that he's a pawn. He yeah. knows it. He's no dummy. He's a prosecutor. He's a lawyer. Right. So he knows that they're, they're using him. Right. So he's going to say, fuck it, man. It's either, you know what I mean? It's either win or, you know. Big loss. Or big, or big, you know, Monumental loss. That was a giant you know, loss. They said at one point in the documentary, they thought Chris Darden, after the case, would come work at the Cochran firm. Right. That was all pushed to the side after that. Right, of course. I, when when OJ tried on the glove and it didn't fit and they're just looking all dumbfounded, I'm like, do something. And that was idiots. his call. That was his call. Darden's call. On hey, I guess. No, but Cochran whispered. Let him, yeah, nobody react. Yeah, he said nobody react when they ask one. They're going to ask him to try to drop No, but Cochran basically in the hallway goes, you'd be a, you're a fool if you don't have him try that glove I on. I thought F. Lee Bailey said that to him. Was it F. Lee F. Bailey? F. Bailey said to him, Tell if you out. don't do it, I'm going to do it. Something. <laughs> yes. And, yes. They, and they already knew the glove wasn't going to fit. And Sean fucking went fucking hook, line, and sinker. Ah. Is that how it went down? F. Lee Bailey? F. Lee Bailey made him do it. He was like, either you going to do it or right. I'm going to do it. Right. And they already knew it wasn't going to fit. And I don't think F. Lee Bailey would have did it. And then the rumor was they told him to get off some of his medication so his fingers would yes. all swell up his, and uh, shit. Uh, arthritis. arthritis medication for two weeks and before then, he tried it. And then he also had the glove on, uh, the the medical glove on. Oh, yeah. He had the plastic glove on the other, the latex under the glove glove. So why, at, at, <laughs> at the very least, when that glove didn't fit, instead of you know standing there dumbfounded, why yeah. wouldn't they go, wait a minute, maybe it's not fit. Because the medical glove, try anything. Yeah. yeah. But they just sat there like, what the fuck? OJ killed her. <laughs> I, uh, I have no doubt. You see that doc own. documentary? First, you know who convinced me the most? I know already knew he did it, but the guy, the always, cop. Did you always know? Of course. Who else wants to kill your wife more than you? Nobody's that lucky. Yeah, but a, lot, a lot of black people. <laughs> your ex wife? Somebody else want to kill her more than you? Good luck with that. A lot of black people, though, said no way. Because, no, they, because you know what? Because they, they was they, happy to see the system work for yes, a rich black I, dude. Yes. I get that part of it. It showed that the system, yeah, it can be racist, but it ain't racist against money. But black people are not going to go against black people. But it's all not going to happen. But black people that were cheering. They were more cheering that least we can do what y'all get to do. Yeah. So they believe the system finally worked for them, but yep. they, but most of those people believe that OJ killed her, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, oh. most of those people right, believe I that. I can sleep finally at night. Yeah, most, this I, that's what I believe. Me up for 20 years. <laughs> uh, I sleep better at night now. But you saw the cops, that's why I like how this documentary went. They showed the, t the whole culture in L.A., as part of the trial. It was amazing. Because that really mattered. It was amazing. The young girl getting shot at the grocery store by a Korean lady. Uh, Rodney King getting beat down. Yes, the cops getting acquitted. And then you picking a jury, uh, you picking a jury out of these people who suffered under all this. Well, yeah, when they went through the whole thing and then when they started way back and had it build up to the OJ thing. Yeah, that was, that it, was amazing. You see how fucking laws, even laws can get changed in climate. Right. The climate changed. Right. And that's what people didn't realize. But look at OJ. He's even and like, they oh, used it. Looks like it. Look, it doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> and OJ was the, the one of the people, black people were least affected by the shit. <laughs> OJ's acting is so great in this clip because he's like, why are you wasting my time? They said he went full naked gun. He went full naked gun when he tried to do He thought he was doing... He was like, what? Like, he, he, he'll talk to anyone. Uh, anyone that'll listen to him, he's like, why, why are they wasting my time with this shit? Don't oh. fit. Look, see, don't fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in the documentary, they said he went full naked guy. Right. <laughs> full like, naked like, guy. Like, he's acting there. <laughs> Fucking guy's making me try this glove on. Of course it doesn't fit. Oh, shit. Oh, he's going he's gonna to confess. No. Yeah, he will. No, he won't. On his deathbed, he will. And then I you learn so. about his kids. They're like, hmm. kids are, uh, yeah. They're, they're, they, they have stayed away from him. But wait, part. but why would got, he lose the, the civil suit? Like if he was found. Because innocent. you only need like, you don't need, uh, you don't need, uh, uh, you don't need as much, uh, evidence in the civil suit. You only need like 51% or whatever. You just yeah. have to, you know, see yeah. it's possible. It's easier. It's an easier conviction. Yes. Conviction. That's they what They didn't get about. any of that money, did they? They got some the of They got his stuff. Uh, what? Yeah, they got money. Yeah, because they, they came to his house and took his stuff. You got to brush oh. up on this stuff. They, Gold, Goldman, if OJ freaking makes a dollar, Goldman's at his door grabbing that dollar yes, away. He, that's why he was he hiding will, that autograph. Will, yeah, money. he will not let it go. Oh, and what about that part of the documentary? Crazy. Did you know OJ was signing shit in jail that whole time? Making he made three million dollars in jail. 
signing shit. $3 million. And I'm like, <laughs> and this is how stupid I am, too, because I'm like, all right, he was signing jerseys in jail. No, he was signing just the number. Yes, just he the number. He was signing the two. two. Yes. So, so a guy comes into jail and hands him a whole bunch of number twos, and he signed those, and then they put them on the jersey. On the jersey. And then what the stupid football me is, I'm thinking they have to drag all these jerseys into jail. <laughs> Someone figured out, no, all we need is him to sign the two, and then we'll put it on the jerseys after. And the, the same fact. with the footballs. They didn't bring the football. They had the panel. Right. The one the panel. He signed one panel, and then they go make the footballs. I swear I thought that it, <laughs> they would have to carry in a whole bunch of footballs <laughs> fully. <laughs> into a prison. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 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 they know how to make some money out there, boy. They know how to hustle. But wait, but you're not allowed to make money in jail. So how? So the guards no, were in on it. No, he you can make money in jail because he wasn't convicted. He yet. wasn't convicted oh. yet. So they figured it out like this. Th- this case, th- this is going to cost you a shitload of money, but we're going to get some of it back because you're going to sign a whole bunch of shit while you're in here. Yeah. And it was footballs and the number two mostly. And it was going. His price for stuff was going up. People right. wanted it even more. It was more in demand. Right. It was a gold mine for him in prison. No idea. <laughs> And you don't even know that that two on that jersey that he just signed the two and they put that two on the jersey after the fact. Brilliant, unbelievably brilliant, fucking brilliant. The but doc- they used to try to hide that money too. They tried to hide the money after he got out. The signing money cost the goal. Right. What's the name's father was trying to get it. I think a lot of those, a lot of that money uh, went toward you know paying Cochran though, right? I think he paid off the Cochran shit. And I also think that that uh, defense team. Gave him a deal because that put them on the fucking map to a whole nother level. Right. So they probably just said, you know, we want this case because they had five fucking. I mean, they had Dershowitz, they had Lee Bailey. That was a team. Uh, boy. Fuck, you know, don't say Shapiro. They hated Shapiro. Boy, did that come out. Yeah, but the money oh, these yeah. guys. Yeah. And when he was on the TV saying, "I'll yeah. never talk to Lee Bailey again." Right. <laughs> Effley Bailey was like, "What?" Yeah, he was. Uh, Shapiro was the face of that uh, dream team for a while, and it turns out he was a joke among those guys. He wasn't a litigator for one, so he wasn't doing anything in the courtroom yeah yeah so and he didn't want to play the race card or whatever but it's about winning when you're in court there's the guy with the the handlebar mustache showing yes, uh, the, the two. number two <laughs> the yellow number two see all we had to do is have him sign the two <laughs> and that's the same dude that oj robbed later right and got is in jail for now right in the hotel in, in the hotel in vegas he went that's back to that guy all right uh, dr steve <sighs> said he'd uh drop beer <sighs> off iraq what's that about I have a trucker bringing you beer from my store today. Can you have one of your yeah. minions put blank on the list? How about Steve write me and leave you alone while you're doing the show? He's quite a talker. <laughs> also, you could divvy up the beer any way you like. Yeah. Blank is up there all the time, and I can make the regular deliveries. The guy was spo- uh, What kind of beer? I don't know. It's sitting in the office. The guy was supposed to deliver it the week we were off. So that wasn't any good. So the guy waited till we came back, delivered it, and left. So I didn't get a chance to talk to the guy. I haven't seen anything. It's all sitting in the office. E-Rock, I got to do your beer show again because the yeah, one I got to do a beer show again. What <laughs> beer do show? It. it was a gr- It was a lot of fun. Yeah, what was I'm the beer show? Waiting. We'll do it on this show. Uh, you take over the show for uh, for a Friday, and we'll do a beer show right here from what? three to six. What's the beer show? Iraq, he used to do a beer show. He has all the, the, the guys come in, local breweries and stuff. And, what? and we were trying all yeah. sorts of beer. For the seasons. Like, we, you know, uh, we'd start off with the beers for the summer, beers for the fall, beers for the winter. Let me tell you this. Big, uh, you know, one-off shows. We were off about, what, two and a half weeks? Way too long, by the way. I was trying to get back here to do a show. And I think you even <laughs> wrote me like, way oh, too long. Way too long. And, um, <laughs> what, that didn't succeed? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> what, what? Are you trying to get back here to do a show? What happened? I got lazy. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a text like, okay, maybe next week, Tuesday. I ain't here from until today. Did you guys go anywhere? <laughs> you didn't go anywhere? You didn't go down to Philly or anywhere? I got lazy. Just, I laid around in pajamas and the went, best. went back on sugar. <laughs> I get, I'm three days off sugar again. I'm two days. I've been preaching don't eat sugar, and man, I fucking fell. I, t- I was eating pies. I was sneaking, waking up in the middle of the night, walking to the refrigerator, and I take out the apple pie, yeah. and I just started spooning it. Like, fucking, I, 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 I looked at it like it was a, I said, fuck this, when it was only this much left, and I threw it in the garbage. Like, I can't do this anymore. I, I could avoid, I could avoid the candy, yes. the Christmas cookies, all no. that. I could avoid all yeah, that. Yeah, I could avoid that. But pies, I I guess when you get a little older, 
like, you, I don't know what it is. I told him I was taking the I, apples out, just eating the crust <laughs> and the fucking, eating the crust and the sweetness. <laughs> like, it, and my wife, dumb wife knows, and she's making fucking those, uh, cookie do, what are, they're the best cookies. The cookie doodles, something, whatever the fuck. They're like what? cinnamon. Snickerdoodles. 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 There Let you me go. tell you something. I would step over a naked body to eat <laughs> a fucking three snickerdoodles. <laughs> they're so fucking uh, good. How can you not wake up in the middle of the night? Uh, Cause you're already fucking on a sugar high, yeah. and you wake up. You know, you have a nice piece of Nicorette gum and some fucking cookies. I completely believe that sugar is way more addicting than cocaine. No question. Because oh, as soon as you dip back in, you, that's you're just Jones and marching around your fucking place. Yeah. I, and then I, I was like, "Don't do it! Don't do it!" And then I just would break down. I was, How do you even figure out? Because everything has sugar in it. Yeah, everything. but it, it, here's the thing. If you don't, like, if you're going to eat something that has two grams or three grams, you know. That's but, fine. That's fine. But then when you're eating fucking five apple cookies or crust. Apple, apple oh, pie crust, with, that. that's fucking pure fucking sugar. It's like just pouring it. You know what I mean? I did well for a long time. I, I gained yeah. a quick five pounds, and I'm like, I'm done. Five oh, pounds for me is a lot. Oh. Yeah. So I, I cut it off, and three days without sugar, and I'm losing in my mind. That's why I'm probably talking so fast. I, <laughs> I was at, I'm, just, I, I'm just trying to <laughs> distract myself. I took my daughters <sighs> into New York uh, one night. So they, we went out to eat. Then they, we went over to the cellar and they had apple pie and ice cream. I yeah. said, I'm not going to order it. You know what? Because I fucking ate. Not only did I go after one daughter's and eat half of hers, I took the other ones. Just Once you get it in your mouth, you, man, can't, stop. you can't stop. No, and then you keep going back for another slice it's of pie. It's so fucking and then good. Cookie, cookie dough ice cream. Oh. Vanilla cookie dough so ice cream. So what can you eat that don't have sugar in it that's like an ice cream? So, no. No, <laughs> on, I'll tell you this though. What about like, it was, uh, ah, whatever. They're sick of hearing this out there. Pistachio or something? What ice cream don't I, have? I watched a lot of documentaries on sugar and yeah. it, it got me to be like, all right, I, you gotta cut this shit out. It's in everything. But when you do get off sugar, if you could, if you could, uh, get, Past the craving of it, right. then you don't even think about it. Yeah, but it wants one bite. Well, even on one, no, because no, then I would uh, do a, a cheat yeah. here and there, but and but then something all of a sudden reconnects in your your system, and you're it's over. But a lot of fruit, I'll I'll, I'll do like navel oranges and uh, pineapple to them when I'm craving. Okay, and eventually I won't have to do that. Oh, I'm craving though. I had a big fat fucking orange today. Instead of ice cream. What was the last sugary thing you had though before the pie, a big chocolate pie. chip cookies, cookie dough ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, doesn't and fucking then I, I found a blueberry apple pie mix. <laughs> and there, you did all this in pajama pants. It was oh, yes. That's a true fat boy story. Showering every once in a while with my beard smelling like a wet dog. Boy, was it a great time off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, take that off the screen. Eating fucking candy that are horrible <laughs> gifts that you would never eat that candy. I got these little fucking chocolate wafer like Kit Kat things. I, I would have fucking gave that and regifted it, but that not sounds, once it, once we opened it. That sounds Eating wonderful. It. And I came home and there was a whole layer of it gone. I go, what happened? And she goes, I couldn't stop. Mm. This is the time of the year, though. This is when we all get guilty. Bulking season. Right after the holidays. That's why all the Oprah commercials running right now. The Weight Watchers. Oh, yeah. I'm actually happy that it was only five pounds. I'll tell you right now. Cause I'm like, you got off easy. I got on the scale today. I was like, oh. I won't get What, on what is this number going to be? And I was like, okay. Fuck scales. I'll get, I'll get rid of that. But it'll take me a month to get rid of five pounds. Cause I was down to where I wanted to be. And it took forever. Yeah. Oh, we sound like fucking women. <laughs> sorry, ladies. God, sorry, sorry, Hold ladies. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> ladies. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry to the we're, two ladies listening. We're right all now. on. The, we're all in Ario Speedwagon. <laughs> right. We're transitioning. You don't want to end up a fat lesbian. I hey. can't stop thinking about the fucking wrap I ordered. Where the fuck? I'm starving. I got to come. Oh, really? I got a question. So, where's this beer? Uh, I guess it's in the office. Can we see? <gasps> I haven't. What do you want? That's unbelievable. Is wait, that him? No. That's some, oh, I love one of them. The other one. Wait, I want uh, Mercy Samantha oh. on Twitter. You're one of the good oh ones. Oh my god! In 2017, I point out the good ones. Mercy Samantha is all right on Twitter. That's funny. Oh, Who is that lady shit. that she uh, put next Winkle? to Kevin? What? Amy Winkle. I don't know. That is too. Funny. That's pretty close. So no, I brought up the beer thing. Iraq, you still listening? Yes. I need a beer to drink. Right now? No, well, no, not today, but I mean, for two weeks, I couldn't find a beer I liked. What do you mean? I used to love wine. I got rid of wine. I don't not like wine anymore at all. Is your wine all Then I got sugar? into beer. 
Yeah. Like, what kind of draft beer do you like? How do what are they bring in the drafts in? In the bottles? How, how, they have a, no, how? they have them in, uh, in uh, growlers. And, and oh, okay. The how portable about things like that. Sherrod, yeah. how about this? It's all about the IPAs. I hate IPAs. Oh. So that IPAs t- are not the, they're the most popular. But, but, but that takes out, uh, you know, half the, half the beers out do there. You drink at least. Beer, do you drink beer for the taste or to get drunk? For the, I do both. For the taste. For real, and they get a little, I get buzz. A little buzz, but no. the taste got to be, be no. right. Though. If, I'll tell you exactly. Yeah. My my father in law loves his Miller Lights, and if there's no other beers, if I go down to Philly or they come up, and there's only Miller Lights in the fridge, I'm not drinking Miller Lights because it doesn't taste good. No, but if I got, I is mean, it too watery to you? Is it just? I, I I mean, you know, they make fun of me, but I like some of the grapefruit beers and some of the oh, something yeah. with a taste. This right. is a dumb. I like. Question. I believe it or not, I like Blue Moon stuff. Oh like yeah, that. Blue Moon's good with the orange oh, kind of taste to it. Yeah. I, I like Coronas after you put the you know the lime in it. Okay. Okay. Here's one, and I don't want stuff like that. So if if it's just a Budweiser or a Miller Light in the fridge, I'm not. Uh, I'll I'll drink uh, Bud Light limes. How Those about this? Oh, okay. See what see what I'm you getting like the at fruit here. Type of, yeah, 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 you're a fag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's what. <laughs> From him, oh shit! <laughs> but here's and because it's been so oh, fucking so long, and I don't remember because I drank to get drunk. And this is a dumb question, probably because a lot of them are for me. In the summer, does beer quench your thirst? Like, do people drink beers instead of a fucking Gatorade? No, yeah, well, at night, if it's like a warm night, yeah, cold beer is great. Yeah, it but quenches I never, my thirst. Uh, oh, really? I never think of it that way. It's just I like, mean, because I don't drink like water or something else after, and if I'm thirsty, I drink beer, and I'm not thirsty. I'm not a big fan of water. What? I'm not a big fan of water. What about like flavored water? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like. You gotta drink water out of the tap in New York. It's the best. It's way better than bottled water. It's the best. I can't drink bottled water anymore. Because of the plastic taste? I don't know what it is. What yeah. the fuck is it? Hell, These are Dr. Steve's beers. Okay. Dr. Steve has a beer company now? No, he has a beer has, store. He has a, yeah, he has a well, friend who brought beers up. That's anything that says made in Mexico, I want to drink it because it's going to be a little stronger than the stateside. Can we, open, can we open this shit up? And Coca-Cola? I, that's what I got hooked on again during the break. Wait, Mexican uh, Cokes? Yeah, because they still got the original Coke in it? It's original Coke, sugar cane, no high fructose, no aspartame, none of that. That stuff in big green bottles. Green. The, 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 the original green bottles, right. but they're bigger than the ones they sell in America. And you just put them in the fridge for a while till they're ice cold. So good. Ah, oh, really? See, that's the sugar that's going to get me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the fucking novelty sugar. Mexican cokes. Mexican. Oh, I didn't even know it was in a green bottle. Oh, Whoa. oh, he cracked one open. Now, which one is that? Uh, it's called Green Man ESB Special Amber Ale. Okay, uh, give me one of the Mexicans. Uh, that's not bad. Is that one made in Mexico too? Let's try this one. This better be like fucking. Uh, Where's uh, the rest of the beer? Polo Loco. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he only got. I don't want to do it on the pack. side of the thing though. I'm gonna fuck up the All table. Right, I'm getting rid of this thing anyway. Yeah, do it on. When you getting rid of your wrist? <laughs> oh, I got too close to that one. Oh, there's a month off. Maybe we need a can <laughs> Uh, oh, he injured this shit. He gonna, uh, yeah. Oh, here, give me that I one. Mean, you think I do another one? No, 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 I'll do this Fuck. one. Fuck. No, no, I mean, I gotta open another one. Oh, yeah. My Queen of the Night, Pell L. <laughs> <laughs> Get a can open the money. No? The old used to pop them right off. Oh. That's not good. Glass in the studio. Yeah, it's good. Right, we better be, stop. Be careful. No, look, the whole top came off. Yeah, that's a bloody, bloody lip if you... Shit. Can we get a can opener? I want to try the other one. The Pell L's good. It's all right? Yeah, I like it. Thank you, Dr. Steve, for the two six-packs. It might have a little uh, something in it. Wait, like Dr. Steve orange. has a, owns a beer store? Which is so dumb because the, where he lives, the population is like 80 people. Is there anything he doesn't do? Wait, so is it next to... Does he have a pharmacy? What are we talking about? <laughs> He's got a little beer store, but it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I don't know how you get a business going in the middle of nowhere. Where he, exactly? He has it there because there's nothing within reasonable driving distance. So he's the only... So he's, he's the only game in town. He cornered the market. I like how Dr. Steve's thinking. Yeah, he's a smart guy. I yeah, hate... Why pay for kids college when you can open a beer store? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's try, uh, telling me I gotta try the ballast... Uh, how you say it? Ba- ballast ballast point. point. I hate him. Sorry. The ballast point? 
Yeah, it's rough. We tried to get him to try the grapefruit sculpin, but he wouldn't. I, no, I tried it. Oh, you did? No, I, I had some uh, at my house for a while. And I just don't like it. What was the wrong like with the balance point? Too bold type of... But yeah. this guy's suggesting there's other ones, too, like the pineapple and the watermelon one. People are saying the pineapple one's pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, he's bringing more? more? Coming in. What's that one? I see. Oh, oh that, shit. Icelandic white Yeah, that's straight from fucking Reykjavik. Why is there a John Taffer? What is this? He sent you. John, John Taffer sent me something? Bar Rescue? Yeah, but it has a beer opener. Wait, when were you going to give me my gift? <laughs> <laughs> it was delivered three years ago. <laughs> Why is John Taffer sending me something? Why does he say O.B. and Anthony? <laughs> oh, that's how old it is. That was a joke. Well, that's an open uh, the box. Yeah, open that shit. Well, open that shit up. Here, get rid of this one because this, this is a broken bottle on the top. Just get rid of that. That looked like the dude from the O.J. story. Where? The black dude. Look at him. The cop who knew him. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I forgot his name. That's why I knew OG did it. Because that was his good friend. He was a cop. He was. A, he testified against him. Uh, what was his name? Um, Ron. Ron. Ron Ship. Ron. Ron. Ron Ship. <laughs> Ron Ship. We got Ron it? Ron Ship. <laughs> God. That's the yeah. That's OJ. Yeah, he was a cop. He used to bring his partners over to OJ's house. They'd right. be impressed. He was OJ's friend for the longest. They were he was the friends. guy who OJ called when he first beat up Nicole. Oh. And then Ron uh, turned on OJ. Because he was like, yeah, he's listened to everything. And then OJ said to him, uh, he didn't want to take a lie detector test because sometimes he dreamed about killing Nicole. Right. Like, that's how lie detectors work. Yeah. <laughs> you southern country I'm, dum-dum. I'm just relieved that most black people thought he did it, but they didn't care because they really wanted a win from the system. They wanted the system to work in our favor. Because we saw white people getting off, and especially rich people getting off. Yeah. So if it's really a system for everybody and rich people get off, let a black rich person get off then. As half a black comic, I was thinking. He's ignorant. Because about, every, all murderers should go to jail. How about the part of the documentary where they try uh, they they were trying to embrace OJ in the black community, and he he was like, "I he don't want to be part of the black community." He looked awkward. I'm in the white fucking corporate world. But we the only ones, you know, when the, the society shuns you away, black people the first ones go like this: right. give him a chance, right. even if it's a white person. But then he got <laughs> it don't so, matter. Then he got so desperate at the end of that thing, he was in the black churches after his conviction. I saw him. Yeah, he didn't want to be there. <laughs> he didn't want to be there. He wanted to be on a golf course in Beverly Hills. Yeah, he, he did. had no choice at that point. He started playing the nine hole black golf courses. <laughs> wow. I don't know what that is. It didn't have 18 holes. There was only nine holes. Nothing. They're not all good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, those years that OJ lived in Miami, that's when somebody needed the Chronicle. Because he wowed it out. Yeah, he did. He was coking and drugging and threesome. He was fucking roomfuls of girls. They yep. ghosted over that part, kind of. They should probably do a documentary just called After the convict, uh, uh, Acquittal. Excuse me. Yeah. How great would that be? When he was just with those, all those hot girls, girls running up to him. Right. Girls are just, what are y'all doing, girls? And then his life slowly getting worse and worse. By the, you know, by the end, he was hanging out with the wrong playing girl. on the shittiest golf courses in America when he used to be on the best. He was uh, down to playing golf on public courses and whatnot. Yeah. I read about that shit over the years. We should take a break. You wow. Eat, you eat your sandwich there, Rich Voss. You lose a tooth? No, I don't want to be in the mic. Like... Because I think you guys were going to drink beers. So I would need to say I, I wanted to be part of beers. I, I, like wanted, I wanted to be part of the guys. I wanted to be part of one. It's good. The pale ale is good. Is that one better than this? Oh, look at that beautiful cup. Mm, you drink a beer. Oh, oh. that's a motherfucking. That's a goblet. Yeah. John Taffer like sent me. Little John a, sent that. Why did John Taffer send me a glass? He's classy dude. What? What else is there? Is this is this because he blew off our show? Yeah, he got sick. Oh, did he? Yeah, he blew off our show. Maybe he was going through that divorce, though. You know he got divorced. I don't know anything about John Taffer. What is this? I know his ex-wife had those big-ass um, titties, man. What is this? I can't open it, right? What? I don't know. A like bottle it. opener? A little signature. Ah, get rid of those glasses. I'm not bringing that shit home. Do the other way. I'll take them. How? Like... Yeah, like that. What is this? This is not a camera. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. So, what is this for it's real? It's a back scratcher. It has to be. Why would it be yeah. in the thing? Let me see it. Yeah, you show me how this works. Facebook Live, this shit. All right, so uh, Rich Boss is going to be at Helium. There we go. Tommy Club uh, starting Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Philly. Good place, right? Best. What the fuck is this thing? 
That's not a can opener. What the fuck? Sherrod's going to be at uh, where? The Bay Street Theater? Yeah, Bay Street next Friday, right? A week the from 13th? Friday on the 13th. Sag Harbor. We're out there on uh, Long Island, Sag Harbor. And then the 28th in Poughkeepsie. All right, so we'll take a break and we'll do some other. Oh, I got to talk about the uh, Alexa. Anyone else have an Alexa? Yes. What? You have an Alexa? Yeah, the Amazon Echo. Right? Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Is and that the thing you talk to in your house? Yes. Used to be called the wife. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I got some thoughts about Alexa. Okay. Uh, and I think E-Rock's going to agree with me. You don't like it? Why? Why would you pay for satellite radio? <laughs> Oh, with the Alexa. What? Did you see the little kid, the little boy trying to... Well, help? we got that story, too. That was great. Yeah, it's a very good story. <laughs> and I want to talk about those uh, Hatchimals, I think they're called. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a big deal. Too. Yeah, all right, we got shit to do. Stay there. OB Radio is back. I used to date a girl from Iceland. She was great. Really? Yeah, she used to work as a comedy seller back in the day. How yeah. white? How white was she? She was white. I could see her blood, ma- her, her bone marrow. <laughs> <laughs> she was white and bright, tall, booty on her. She had a nice booty on her. You remember her voice? Who don't say her name? Uh, I know Iceland. There's only a girl from Iceland who worked at uh, the comedy cell in the I, last I seen her, I decade. Remember. Blonde hair, blue oh, eyes, blonde hair, blue eyes. It might have been green eyes. I'm not sure. Green eyes. Right. Might have been blue. How white though? Like a little purple tint to the skin? Yes, yeah, you had that Icelandic tint, <laughs> that rake of it. How white? <laughs> glow in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> so white, it's, it's slightly purple. Like that volcano up there, give him a little glow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go there. Me too. There's only one town to go. That's what I heard. And the people are nice as hell. Where? In Iceland? Yeah. Reykjavik is where, and whenever somebody say they're from Iceland, nobody says another town. And that's where the strong men are from. Yeah, those big thick sons. You see bitches. that documentary? No. Ah, Christ. I got to bring the documentary show back. We only uh, have one big uh, American dude, too. That What's his name? I don't know offhand. That chesty son of a bitch. I used to watch ESPN2 when they had the, all the strongman competitions. Can we play the strongman documentary trailer? It's it's amazing. The most sh- of the strongmen come from that area. What for is whatever about? reason? The Vikings? They have nothing, or? Yeah, a little Vikings blood probably and nothing else to do. And all that dairy because they, they drink. That's why they're so thick. And if you follow those any of those like uh, Earth Traveler accounts on Instagram or something where they just show you pictures of the Earth from all these places, Iceland is all these like natural hot springs where in the dead of winter people are just going in their bathing suits. And just in these like hot springs for the rest of the year. Oh, they just sit out there, and I'm like, it looks amazing. You want to go to Did, it? Yes, the volcanic fucking hotness. Yeah. Did, oh. I, oh. Did I ever tell you my hot spring story? Uh oh, Aspen. <laughs> <laughs> Was it an Aspen? I went to Seattle with okay. my ex. And then there's another guy and his girlfriend, and we were in the uh, the whole rainforest. Uh-huh. And and then they have hot springs all over the place. I think it's part of the same thing, or it was, it was the same day trip. And we saw one of these hot springs, and everyone was naked in it. Right. So me and uh, this dude that I used to work with in Boston, we stripped down and said, fuck, let's get in there with the locals. Right. Our girls were so fucking mad that we got naked and jumped in there. And while we're in there enjoying a hot spring, when's the, when's the next time you're going to come across a hot spring? Right. They're just on a rock on the side with their arms folded waiting for us to get the fuck out. Why were they so angry? I guess because we got naked with the locals. Everybody's dicks out, though. Why do you got to point you out? I, yeah. yeah. And, and, <laughs> and the hot spring was as big as this room, so plenty of room for everybody i'm like fuck it let's do this but uh, you couldn't be the one that went in with just your underpants no that's corny so we uh we jumped in and our girls were so mad (laughs) 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 they just sat on a rock and gave us shitty fucking looks it was all the girls there nigga that's why right yeah and titties out all that and y'all was high-fiving a lot (laughs) we were just enjoying the hot spray (laughs) did you you come I know it was like oh, it, was, it was sexy people in there, like young sexy people. It was, it was old people. Yes. They wouldn't have got mad it, at you. It was Seattle. It was young, younger people. I mean, this goes way back. So I was on the younger side, right. and uh, and like like kind of like hippies. Yeah. Did no. you did you back in so they didn't see your dick? Right? <laughs> <laughs> like a moving truck. I went, hey, hey, go, I, I got right a nice in. ass, folks. I went right in, and I remember at one point they put their little, little their toes in. I'm like, ah, and they fucking were oh. mad for the rest of the day. I'm glad you broke up with that bitch. <laughs> they were care. mad for the rest of the day. We, me, and I, I wanted uh, I should keep his name out of it, but we <laughs> went. We said, fuck it, we're here. We're not going to be here anytime soon. Let's do this. That's the only way to live. Yes. Uh, Sherrod is thinking of Bill Cashmere, the strong man. Oh, I think so. Let's show a picture of him. Let me go to, uh, James in Toronto. James. Hey, how are you? We're James good. 
Yeah, listen, I'm on my speakerphone. I'm a trucker, and I don't want to take up anybody's time there. Well, okay. Then hang, then hang up. Ask my who you're thinking of. Back yeah, there he is. Look at the size thing. of that. Is he the American? God, damn. Yeah. He's okay. one of the original dudes. Yeah, he was one of the original dudes. I recognize his face from America. I, I did not. I did not know his name. No way. But oh. you got it. Yeah, that's the guy. Thanks, James. Look how thick. All right. It's like it great. You, Talk to you later. All right, right, man. Thanks, James. Stay how on the road. How yeah, do you but, even get that thick up top like that? I mean, I'll, 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 I'll smack lifting, that motherfucker if I lift him. I lift <laughs> truck tires and <laughs> you smack him and say, "Great job, champ!" <laughs> Punk motherfucker. <laughs> That's how I get tough. When I get straight, motherfucker, I'll knock you the fuck out, bitch. Punk ass. Look at you. Fat ass, stomach ass, motherfucker. Do you turn into Huggy Bear from fucking Sarge and Hutch? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Fucking punk ass. Well, are we going to play the documentary uh, trailer for the Strongman? Do we have to? Is this worth doing? How do these guys, do they grow old? Oh, yeah, do they get old? I think they die by the time they're 35. I'm a massive fucking corpse. Well, because they're all taking uh, steroids, right? No. I don't think so. No, yes. Yeah, yeah, you can't get that big without steroids. Let's try this. It might be a visual. Uh, less visuals in 2017. I'm promising uh, the people. Less visuals. But let's see how this trailer goes. <laughs> You're the this best a, at what you do. This is a different it's documentary. Find the right. And why is Kevin Cronin in this documentary? <laughs> 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 oh my He's God. everywhere. <laughs> See, I, I'd be way better if it was visual. <laughs> oh, this radio is not for me. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm starting to realize it. <laughs> there it is. The Giants of Iceland. This is the one I saw from Vice. The Giants of Iceland? Hold on. Let me go to Brian. Uh, God damn. Let, right. let me go to this guy, Brian in uh, Texas. Uh, Brian, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, buddy. Hey, the, guy that you, the guy you're thinking about from uh, the United States, the new guy, his name's Brian Shaw. Uh, he's like 6'8", and he weighs like 350. He won the last, I think, three years. Right, that's uh, the, the new guy. Star. Yeah, yep. that is a big bastard. Yes. Which one is Oh, it? yes, I know that yep. one. He, yeah. Didn't they use him on Game of Thrones or something? No, no. He beat the guy from Game of Thrones. Look at that. that guy in there. Oh, all right. So there's another strong man that was on Game of Thrones. Okay, I got it. Wait, let me yeah, see. Yeah, the mountain, I think, is what his name is on the God. Game of Thrones. Oh, oh the mountain. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And, 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 that, that and that guy is in the Iceland uh, Vice do uh, documentary, I believe. The guy the guy from yeah. Game of uh, Game of Thrones. Brian yeah. Shaw yeah. made Arnold Schwarzenegger look like Gary Coleman in that fucking picture. <laughs> did, did you? Yeah, yeah but see, did, did you ever see the... What the fuck? Did you ever see the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, when he was young? Will Chamberlain photo? Oh, let's see it. You want to see how uh, small how, how small he can look? Yeah. Pop that up really fast. Yeah. <laughs> well, because Will was Have a giant. Have you never seen this picture? Yeah, Maybe. See this I gotta bottom picture? Me. That guy's still ripped. Look at his fucking abs on the bottom. <laughs> Every other one's fat fuck, but this yeah, guy's guy fucking ripped. ripped. Let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah, with Andre the Giant. Oh yeah. And Will Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen that. He looked like their child. <laughs> He's between Will Chamberlain he and like, Andre the Giant. He looks like a little person. Holy shit! Chamberlain looks like Tupac. They make Arnold like a hobbit. <laughs> they hobbited them. They used to say midget. He looks like he was. Uh, he's a midget. <laughs> he they say little, pe little person now. Oh shit! You've never seen hilarious. that picture? Oh, it's, no. funny. it's Andre the Giant, Will Chamberlain, <laughs> lifting Arnold Schwarzenegger off the ground, making him look tiny. It oh does, it, shit! Holy fuck! He Isn't looks diesel, but he looks midgety. He looks like a little troll. <laughs> we had him in here once, Arnold. Who? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and he wasn't as tall as I thought he would be. Yeah, he's not a tall. Not well, and I think he? people said at the time that he had uh, it looked like he had like heels or lifts or whatever. Really? Yeah, I don't know how tall he's claiming to be, but yeah. All right, go back to the vice thing now. <laughs> Look at Will's legs in that running picture. Oh God! Good God Almighty! He looks like a gazelle. Oh, Hilarious! Shit. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the longest human being on earth. What? Look at that. Holy, Holy shit. shit. He wow. has a stride of a fucking... That's crazy. A cheetah. That is a crazy stride. Holy shit. All right. Uh, oh, my God. That, that wasn't the trailer? It was the whole documentary? Okay. All right. Well, I'll try to turn the people on. It's called what again? The Strongman strong of Iceland. 
Yeah, it's a Vice documentary. The Giants of Iceland. Giants of Iceland. Thank you. I really enjoyed that one, and I saw it a couple of years ago. It's a short documentary, too. Yeah, pretty short. But a lot of the guys, it happens. Uh, they come from that area. Whenever I'm flipping the channels and go to ESPN two and a strong man, like I have a marathon on, I'm watching it. Really? I watch it. It sort of was a joke back in the day, but now it's become the you know pretty serious because they really carry in the heavy shit. Right. <laughs> yes. It's, it's yes. like a truck tire you got to put over your head and run with it. Shit, I'm I watching this shit. I love Tur- the events they they just come up with. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, okay, uh, we'll roll some truck tires for a while. The then we'll take log. this telephone pole and, uh, I don't know, let's throw that over a bus. <laughs> then we'll push the bus for a while. <laughs> like, who the fuck comes up with this shit? <laughs> Some dude smoking weed in the back. I right? know how they feel, man. Try to carry a radio show every time you come in. <laughs> yeah. You haven't <laughs> said shit today. <laughs> I know, I can't. A long day to pull that one out. I know. I had a how couple of good lines. How about you do that on a day you're killing? I had a couple of good lines. Quiet? No, because you guys are fucking on fire. I'm not going to... And I had a couple Good uh, you're doing just fine. You're doing Look at this fine. guy. He was a strong... Mm. That was an old dude, strong man? Look at that. Look how much he's lifting. Look at that fucking head. Speaking of lifting, you hear about the guy that died? He dropped the weight on his neck? No. What? Yep. Oh. What? Weightlifter killed when barbell drops on his neck. There's no video of it or anything, Thank right? the Lord for that. Yeah. Is that him? No. A uh, man oh. pumping iron in an Iowa gym was killed when a 315-pound barbell slipped from his grasp and fell on his neck. Oh, Bench fuck. Press. That's why I always Bench do press. machines. Because yeah. <laughs> they won't come back down on you? The machines can't come back on you. Yeah. Did you see the two-year-old lifting the dresser off his brother? Get the fuck out. Uh, you got prepared for this radio show in 2017, Mr. Wait, Voss. what? I didn't know. Wait, you didn't? You don't, it's the biggest video today. Oh, put it on. Did he push the dress on his brother? This is a uh, every parent's uh, nightmare. fucking nightmare. You know, kids climb up on these dressers. I didn't believe it. Someone had to tell me. They're like, you got to anchor that shit down. They'll climb. Nobody's yeah, filming. Yeah, that's true. And then the lady said, which is pure bullshit, that she released the video to, to create awareness that this happens. I'm like, shut, shut up, up. Lady. She realized she finally got her viral video. <laughs> We're all looking for that dumb viral video on our Facebook pages and everywhere else. So she's like, I finally got it. But I'll look like an asshole, so i got to come up with some kind of uh, excuse why I'm releasing this online. It's educational. But it's everywhere today. Well, well, you just had it. What happened? No, the- twin uses super strength to save brother from falling dresser. You guys really didn't see this? Let's no. The- A twin brother? Yeah. yeah, they were playing. Let me get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it in a sec. And like you right, sensed. Me- the- oh, shit. Wait, uh, you got to get to the part where it falls. <laughs> I know. That's I'm skipping ahead. Oh, okay. This way. Hold on. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on, man. Oh, that's all stage. All right, that's here cardboard. Go. Here you go. Oh, 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 no, in the oh, drawer? Oh, my God, get it off him. And then oh, the, no. The, 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 that kid really is two? Yeah. And then the kid, you know, is sitting there like, fuck, I got to save my brother. He's like, let me move this out the way because this right, is mine. Right, he's figuring shit out. Oh, His fuck. brother is just trapped under the dresser. Yeah, he's real smart. Why don't you call your mother, stupid? And then he's uh, his, his, his brother's oh. trying to lift the... the Dresser off his own body. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Oh, this is the long version of the fucking shit. Video. I saw the short version where they they did the jump cut to the brother, you know, lifting it off him. That's there he is. All right, now he's like, oh fuck! All right, I gotta get this off him. Hmm, what do I do? They were twins. Yeah. Hmm. He's a little one. He worked his body around. And wow, there. the New York Post stinks. Yeah, look why, why, they, extra why, why would they put the long version of this up? No one wants to sit through this shit. That's when he pulled it and up? And then he pulls and lifts it off his brother. Nope, but not that time. I saw this video 12 times. There you go. There you go. And then he uh, and then he frees his own fucking twin brother. There he is. He's still crying? Oh, it's horrible. Wouldn't you think the cameraman would have lifted it off? <laughs> <laughs> Put down a camera, you asshole, and save the camera. Oh! That's a bad spill. I can't watch that with little Dude, kids like that. Yeah, that kids can die that way for real. Capitated him. Fucking horrible. Got to anchor your shit down, man. He I'm was under there for five minutes. I, that's why time. I buy my kid toys. Long I don't let him play time. with dressers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Amazon Alexa. Oh, Speaking this is of toddlers. Great. Yeah, you gotta play this. This is not a visual. Promise less visuals, and we just did 20 minutes of visuals on the show. Uh, push play in this. Play digger digger. Lata, play digger digger. 
Bobby, can you talk to play wheels? You want to hear a station for porn detected? Porno region, no, hot chick, amateur girl, quality, no, sexy. No, 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 no. Pussy okay. anal dildo ringtone. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexis, you freaky bitch. That's a child, you whore. You robot whore. <laughs> you think the parents set that one up for their viral no. video? That's, how did they even hear porn? I don't know. I, didn't you hear play Dick Dick? I heard Dick Dick, but I didn't. Is that a movie? So maybe the no, parents... It's, <laughs> it's my fantasy. <laughs> Two of them. It was supposed to be play Digger Digger. Digger Digger, the young boy named Bobby says in the incident caught on a YouTube video. And then uh, Alexa picked it up as uh, Dick Dick. We got a, we got one of these for Christmas. Wait, Uh-oh. wait, he said play Digger Digger. Digger Digger. Well, thank God. <laughs> that, that came up instead of some stupid rap group. <laughs> ja Rule's first album came up. <laughs> uh, you like your Alexa there, you rock? It's okay. What what don't you like about it? It's very limited with, uh, with yeah, but music it's, selection. But it's the first version. Can you imagine and fast forward a few years how cool that's going to be? What's it no, do? What is the it second do? version. Ale- what? You have the dot, right? No, I went with the the long one. The oh, tall that's, one. that's the first version. Is it Dot? The, 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 the long, tall one is the first version. That looks like the monolith from 2001. Yeah. A space I thought that was the one to get. That's the no. The, the one to get now is the dot. Like the one the boy they had. reduced it. Yeah, they reduced it down to like an inch and a half. Oh, I thought that was like some guy from India just stands in your house. Okay, tell me. <laughs> I had three good ones in a row. Uh, what is this fucking thing? It, it's it's basically Google. Google, but you can talk to it. Amazon, whatever, but you can talk to it. So you, you can talk to it. You can shop through it. You can right stream podcasts through it. Right. And, well, and what this company doesn't want to hear, you can play pretty much any song in the world through it for free. Uh, that's sort of true. Any song. Amazon's kind of limited with their music library. Yeah, but if you have Spotify or Pandora, I think, right? Oh, I right. worked through that. So basically, you're sitting on the couch and you go, Alexa, play the Doors. And then next thing you know, they're playing a whole bunch they're of Doors songs. Playing a playlist, yeah. But wait a second. Of, of so you're, songs. you're hooking this to your computer and then you... Instead no, of, just no. to your, your Wi-Fi. To your Wi-Fi, yeah. And it comes out on your TV or no, on your computer? through the, through the speaker. They, they figured out speakers, Paul, Paul, man. Yeah. Oh, so it's all... But it's all fucking... They figured out speakers. That, that speaker is good enough to fill the room with yeah. some, some good sound. And, okay. and it hears you if you have other stuff playing or people are talking loud. It can hear you address it. Wow. Like if you say Alexa from across the room, it lights up. It knows you're talking. Yeah, but you're saying you could buy shit. Like, you go, Alexa, I want fucking boots. Yeah. 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 But you're not seeing this on the screen or anything. You're well, saying I think you got to do a little more than I want to buy boots. If you're okay, I want to buy brown Timberlands. Said, what? Go ahead. If you're watching a movie like this movie is pretty cool, I want to own a copy. You say Alexa, buy me a Inside Blu-ray copy out. of of what of Inside yeah. Out. It'll go through your Amazon account and it'll say purchased. And then oh, voice is in there. I'm looking for it like <laughs> it's like having an assistant. Wait, there's not another <laughs> step before they purchase it for you. Well, you, you have the you have app verify. on your phone to set everything up for yeah. it, right. that, so it has all your billing info, your credit info, all that stuff. So then when you just tell it to buy stuff that you would normally buy or you know you give detail of the product, it'll go through and it says, purchased will be delivered on, well, you know, if it's a prime shipping or something like that. It's pretty cool. So yeah. can it go to another website and buy something like... Nope, it's all through Amazon. It's got to be all through Amazon. Yep. Right. But but then uh, Google has their own version. Yeah, I have not tried the Google one yet. Yeah, but it's the future. It's pretty cool. I like it. Wow. E Rock doesn't like his as much. It's all right. You can stream podcasts through it. So if you guys, if you got little kids, it gets really annoying because they get really excited to talk to the fucking thing. Yeah, you just got to make sure that oh, porn's not popping up. Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah. Can you try to block shit like that? It would be audio porn. But that's still, uh, I'm putting my ass, put him in fucking ass. Oh, well, I'm not gonna let it play out. But if it happens for a second or two, I'm gonna be all right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna put play to the end. I'm not gonna panic. I said to my, I said to my daughter the other day because she watches every Family Guy and learns everything. From the Family Guy's filthy for kids. Well, because I said to her, she has all these American Girl dolls. Yeah. I go, why don't you play with the baby American Girl? And she goes, ah, a doll was an accident. The condom broke. <laughs> <laughs> She's nine years old. So your kid. <laughs> I know. And that's all from learning that shit from fucking family, family guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, yeah. Of pe- a lot of people are telling me that uh, women do CrossFit competitions in Iceland or something like no, that. No, they win. The Icelandic women win the CrossFit oh. competitions around the world. So they're in really good shape as well. And they're apparently very hot. 
Oh, yeah, they're hot, money. Let's see some. All right, let me go to... I'm telling you. Phones are lit. All right, let's try... Uh, let's go to Jake in Utah. Jake, go ahead. Hey, OP. How you doing, Sherrod? What's up, Hello? brother? We're all right, What's man. Up? Hey, guys. Look at her. Hey, there's a CrossFit uh, <laughs> documentary. I can't remember what it's called. But there's a couple Iceland chicks in that that are smoking hot. <sighs> and uh, one of them wins it. But it follows them throughout the year. Ah, too, uh, too muscular. Look at those fucking abs, though. They're, they're fucking faces are beautiful, now. but they're too muscular. I would knock down all those fucking fullbacks. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that you girl. Badass yes. names like Thor's daughter and stuff like that. Look and badass this. Viking names. Right. God. Shit, I ain't fucking a girl with a bigger dick than me. <laughs> 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 Depends on if it's erect. <laughs> Nice. Real. Uh, Punch it out, guys. All right, All right. Thanks, buddy. She's a hot girl. Look how strong she is. You don't like that, Ope? Muscles are too big. I like a little definition, maybe, but I, <laughs> they're starting looking manly. Right? Does she still look like a girl? That one, not as bad. Right. That one's fine. Look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. The thighs are too muscular. She's like a gymnast. Look at those thighs. God <laughs> damn, those thighs. The brothers love the big thighs, the big butts. I like a bitch who can do something. <laughs> take a you punch, like, you take like a, a lot kick. of chunk. Yeah, I, I like a bitch take with a good, dick. A lot of credit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's something about Iceland and the people with the diet or something there that they strong as shit. Yeah, I don't know what Look it at is. That. Look at that. Wow. She's beautiful. She's very pretty. Probably because of the Viking uh, DNA. DNA or something. I forget. I think well, Vice taught me that. And I already forgot about it. It's How far something. is Iceland? That's, I mean, the top of Canada is fucking Iceland. No, it's to the to the right of to Canada. The right. It's like going to, to England, but... To going to where? It's like going toward England. No, the right of Canada. So you're going up if you, to the top of Canada. Wait, if you're the are you I don't out? know where the fuck it is. If you're Canada you know facing this makes, way with America down here, it's that way. Yeah, England. Okay, so above England? It's a before England. What instead the fuck is Instead of taking 10 minutes to explain this to him, can we just put a map up? Yes, th please. You think that's going to do it? Yes. <laughs> He's only yes. seen a map his whole life. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Pull the map up. Uh, it. Pull the map up. Yeah, Iceland's definitely to the right. What the fuck is right above Canada? We were talking in the uh, Arctic North Pole. Circle. Yeah, Arctic Sunker and North That's Pole. That's the place. Another yeah. cold place. We were see, see Greenland and yes. then this us. See, it's this way us. the fuck so right out there. there. Boom. You weren't even close. It's so, above Canada to the right. It's to is, the right of Greenland. This is how motherfuckers used to come. All this used to be frozen and they used to ride the ice this way. That's why they used to come to North America. So you don't worry about ride the ice. So you, you don't worry college? about Yes, Morgan State University. You don't West worry Morgan about global Did you graduate? Warming, Who me? Yeah. yeah. I mean it's a serious thing. Yeah, but if they used to just walk across the ice the whole way Not from... walking, but they used to have the boats right next to it. Yeah. And just ride the ice that way. You know what I'm saying? It's See, a coast. Yeah, Iceland's to the right of Greenland. Yeah, Greenland and was the fake out. The, and just north, uh, well, quite a bit north and barely west of Ireland. Look at yeah. that. Floating Who out the there. Who the fuck yeah. goes to those places? Like Greenland, what the fuck is happening there, sir? But you got to remember, when it was all boats, that was the only way to go. So that's they used to ride that coast. They used to ride that fucking perimeter all the way to the new land. Right. There you go. There's so much happening in, more in America. <laughs> 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 now you know where Iceland is. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, what about the Hatchimals or uh, Iraq? Oh, yeah, there, what's there, the story? That was supposed to be the big toy this Christmas. That was the big toy for uh, uh, for this season. What and it's a it? big bust, right? Yeah, it's, it, it looks like a piece of garbage, but these kids <laughs> wanted it. It's a it's a big egg. It, oh, it's a big egg, egg, and then it's supposed to hatch, and then you have uh, this little animal that comes out of there, and then you have to take care of it. It's like reinventing the Tamagotchi thing from the 90s. You have a kitten sitting on your keychain. So you, you, you have to keep it alive so it doesn't die. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's that same thing over and but over. But you have to pet it or give it love, and then it hatches or something? Yeah, like the Furbies used to have to do that, yeah. and now this thing, you have to let it hatch out of its egg, and then once it's out of the egg, then you could take it and, and play with it. But most of them were not hatching either fully or at all. Oh, so bum shit. Christmas Day to the next day, they're sitting there, they're waiting, and like you may get a crack in it a little bit, but it, the whole thing would never hatch. So it was just like they were all defective. <sighs> yeah, it was so you just fucking hit it with a hammer. Here's your, here's your fucking toy, kid. Now, <laughs> now keep it alive, you little fuck. Why Don't does pet your toy? How, how does a toy become the hot toy for the season? Do you know? We were a trying to marketing. Think, a lot of people buy it. <laughs> it, it. No, but why? Sometimes it's a brand new cartoon series that comes yeah. out, and yes. that's a, the, the big thing. Or like Pokemon, which has been around for over twenty years, comes out with something new, and then that's the hot game for the season, or the hot or, toy from that. But for this, I don't know 
exactly where it comes from, but people were saying since September that this was going to be the big item, and it was. You know they well, have those like, videos, though, where kids just watch other kids yes. or grown-ups open eggs with Unboxing little things. Unboxing stuff, yeah. So yeah. that's just, a, I think this is just spilling into the Christmas market, trying to get some egg shit involved and have kids play with that shit. And also, too, right. like, American Girl... Everything is so expensive. Oh, yeah. It's so fucking big. I don't even think they have to advertise. That's how, you know, big, know you know. Yeah, that's just become a phenomenon. You know, and, and the thing is, when you have a product, the more you, the more you charge, the hotter it gets. Yeah. It's like, it becomes like a rite of passage. Yeah. Like every girl gonna have it now. Well, the videos is like you're saying where they just open up toys and yeah. the, these kids eat them up. Eat them? My, up. my, my little, little daughter will come up to me and go, uh, Chase, you know, hurt her, hurt her foot. I'm like, who the fuck's Chase? <laughs> <laughs> she watches other families playing and playing with toys online. What is that? And then gets uh, in, invested in them and then, and, and starts caring about these stupid kids on YouTube. And they got I, millions and millions, millions of fucking hits. My kid, my daughter, to watches YouTube all the time and comes in and says stuff like, oh, so, and then we go, because, well, we don't love you. That's why we don't do that. For you. <laughs> but she sits, I'm telling you, sits hours. in front of her for Dude. hours they even watching know, YouTube. They yeah. even know which video they left that off at. Yeah. They're fucking, she, my daughter's four and, and gets this shit. That's, um, I hear my daughter. It's come so natural for them. So she's like, oh, I seen this one. And then she's like, oh, yeah, I'm up to this one, number whatever. And she can't read yet. My daughter's but not. She knows how to figure all that. It's so weird. How, my daughter's how not some music video out. thing now, some music thing. And she's getting like, it's like us, you know, when someone tweeting us, you know, following us or saying, she's getting these things. And she's oh, like going, messages and stuff. Yeah, she's going, I just got a BFF from this guy. Or he's got a million followers. This and I go, you don't. These are creepy motherfuckers. You don't know who these people are. No. But she goes, no, they're all. Ki-, you know what I mean? But they're on it. I know I'm not making sense. We well, can't keep up with. It. I know what you're talking about. There's so yeah. many of them, and you don't know who's who. And they yeah. get addicted to these shows real fast on YouTube. And you, it's hard to fucking police that. Yes, as a parent, right? Look at the girl last night on The Apprentice. Even though I didn't watch it because you're not supposed to, I saw a clip. Why aren't you you're supposed to watch? There's, I, I guess it. you're not supposed to watch it because you Trump. shouldn't watch it because it stinks. I'm I sure know. it's bad. It's. But I taped it though, so I can watch oh, it later. So I'm not going to tell you guys. Check it out. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. I have no desire. Yeah, I, 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 I that's I watched one episode. I'm done. Because Schwarzenegger is not going to be as much fun as Trump. No. Let's be honest no. here. I should watch yes. it as a radio show, but I have no desire. Yeah, I watched one episode. Then they got it. Tyra Banks on it for no reason. I guess. I, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I think she's sitting on the board. I, I wouldn't know. She's on the board. She's and on the board. Then uh, the nephew, his nephew. Uh, Schwarzenegger. His nephew? Yeah. Why would he do that? He should put a son in somebody who can't, we, people care about. Does he have his Ill, illegitimate son on there? Oh, that kid would be great. The little yeah. Mexican kid? Yeah. With Schwarzenegger face? God, how long did it take, uh. Schwarzenegger Mexicano? <laughs> how long did it take, uh, what's her name to figure it out? Jesus. This kid, uh, kid looked just like the maid and your husband. Trust me, she knew before the baby was born. <laughs> she knew oh who she lived with. Oh my God. What was her name? Maria Shriver. Maria Shriver, right? Yeah. She uh, was beautiful, too. Maria. Oh, fuck no. Are yeah, you kidding me? In the 80s. In the 80s. I'm with Vaughn. She, she, she looks like cute. a cute. Pr- she looks Are like a crazy? praying man. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Look at her back in the <laughs> no, day. No, never. Go even further. Oh. <laughs> no, keep going. Oh, those are in the 80s. 80s. Go 80s. Go 80s. She's beautiful. I'll, I'll try to be. No. No, not that one. Get the fuck out of here. She had that, like, what's it, Shannon Doherty? Type yes. of eighties nine zero two one. Look at that. That's a good pick. No, that that one. Look at no, that. She's all shit authority. I'll give her an okay there. Right there's rough. Stop. Plus, he's a Kennedy, so that adds two points. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely adds. No, it doesn't. All, to Schwarzenegger. All he Kennedys, except for JFK, were funny looking. Are you kidding Even me? Jeff. Pop you, the listen, Kennedy pictures are you with the kidding me? Team. In life, yeah, if you could say you banged up. with me. Listen, they in life, they if all you, were funny looking, except for JFK and JFK it Jr. It has nothing to do with looks. If you say you banged a Kennedy, do you know the fucking clout that Yeah, Schwarzenegger wanted that, though. He wanted a Kennedy. Yes. He didn't give a fuck what they look like. Are you kidding me? But he got the hottest one, though. Come on, she's the, out of all the Kennedys. Oh yeah, well, yes, sure. I mean, she's, she's the looker. Yeah, I mean, she's she's just okay. I give her an she's okay. She's a good looking girl. What are you talking about? I give her an okay. I Jesus. call it inbred fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's right there. She's a beautiful lady. Ah, she's she carries herself well. <laughs> That's right. She's statuesque. <laughs> she's very, a really handsome woman. <laughs> she's very bony. Too. I like the way she was thick like that. Was she pregnant? Well, she had a little yeah. thick to her. She was a, a little look better. at look at him. He looks a like better. a monster. Well, He's I'm, lucky to tag that. Well, you enjoyed looking at him. I didn't enjoy looking at him. Her face got skinny. That's what it was. You don't like that withdrawn face. No. That's what Obi don't She's like. She's almost all right there, I guess. She's cute. I'm trying to. I'm trying to go with it. Who's that? I haven't seen the- one picture where I'm like, yeah, she's really hot. 
She's just I okay. She's a good looking lady. Yeah, she's, she's just good. okay. And I and I don't judge a person by their looks. I would have to talk to her and see what how you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what kind of person she is and then I would make my evaluation. Make your move. Because I don't fucking just, you know, say, Hey, she was great. I loved her, good looking. You know, she's probably a smart oh. girl. Oh yeah, you want that, do you? Uh. Yeah, you want that, do you? That's the when she's already a mom. Got yeah, she's, she's probably, starting to look like Linda Hamilton. She's probably like 60, 55 years old there, looking like Lynn uh, Coplitz. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why pretty? Lynn is pretty. Are you yeah, kidding? Lynn is. Lynn looks like fucking, what's her name? Uh, the model, uh, uh, Cindy Crawford. Shrek? Uh, she has, yeah. Why? I didn't say wow. that. What the fuck is wrong you, were, with you? you were trying wow. to come up with somebody. Okay. No, Cindy Crawford. I like her. She knows Cindy Crawford. Has yeah. she been in here? Yeah. She's fucking funny. I, like her. I was just fucking around. All right, listen. Go back to the hash. <laughs> Go back to the hash. Jesus. She got too much plastic surgery from Who? Joan, if you need to know the truth. I Who? don't think Lynn got any plastic oh, surgery. Please. Oh, Lynn Coplin. No, she didn't. Please. I'm going to look at her again. I like Lynn. Yeah. I'm a big fan of her. She's funny. Oh, no man. question. That's she's she's funny. Very I'm not funny. Enough. She's very funny. Good person. So you got Hatchimal's, uh, funny ass comedian. Funny, man. You got another, uh, kid's toy that might be cursing that is, uh, making the rounds. Right. The Hatchimal's, they think they curse. Here's a little sample. Fuck me? They do that on purpose. Is this saying fuck me or yeah. help me? Yeah, they want you to think it's saying fuck me. They do it on purpose. I have no doubt in my mind. Yeah, it's like those Minions movies. They're speaking all kinds of gibberish, but they purposely make it gibberish so it sounds like profanity, right. but really is not. Right. Yeah. They're all in on it. The Hatchmo Hats- Hats- people did that on purpose so it would be picked up and become a thing. But why would parents buy it then? Because it, it's... Because then they could say, it's not saying fuck me. Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't know what it was supposed to say there. They're speaking their own unique language. They speak their own unique language. Yeah, that's fuck me. I don't of think- course, because before they throw it out on the market, they're listening going, yeah, this is okay. But you know they're laughing in a boardroom somewhere going, it does sound like fuck me, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mattel. I think they're all on, in on it. No doubt in my mind. It was definitely saying fuck me. I'll tell you one thing. You do know how to pick a conspiracy theory. That's one thing I noticed about you. You do... You're good at that. What? Conspiracy. He like pick, picking them. Nah, like, I, these are real things, not conspiracy. Well, there's you're no saying it's a conspiracy that if you think they're saying, fuck me. They're doing it on purpose. They want you to think that the toy is, you know, cursing and saying sh- stuff. It's uh, the, the Elmo dolls did that back in the day, I think. Right? Elmo Eric? was all, awesome. his Didn't voice was, a, I don't fuck. remember the Elmo doll. He was breathy though. He knew it. He sounded like he could just <laughs> give a blowjob. <laughs> hey, um, he, no, El- there was an Elmo doll <laughs> that it sounded like it said fuck me as That's well. That's if you played it backwards. Maybe try to find that. No. No. <laughs> Were you going for a joke? I, 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 no, I just started doing the fucking Paul is dead backwards. Oh, <laughs> God. All right. And that's why I asked if you were going, you know, I thought no, just up. being stupid. Here it is. Let's go. See, I, Elmo says, fuck you. <laughs> See, they do this on purpose. One more. The fuck? What? Elmo says, fuck you. Oh. See. Oh, on a TV show. All that. Over. All right, the music's getting louder. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That means uh, shut the fuck up. You oh, know it was the end of the show. I thought it was a break. <laughs> we'll continue on Facebook. Fuck it. Facebook Live nice. in a couple minutes. My Facebook is Opie Radio Fans. We got to go. We're on Facebook Live Thanks, right now. Continuing this horseshit for a couple minutes. Why? Uh-huh. Just keep talking over me. What the fuck? Who cares? Uh-huh. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're on Facebook Live right now. Bye. <laughs> Opie Radio is now over for now. Over? Roger. Over.